Welcome to the S2K Show. This is Ron Moore along with J-Man, the Wee Guy, and Purple. Yo. Hello. What's up? And this podcast's topic is our favorite television shows. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. I miss doing these podcasts where we did our favorite this or our favorite favorite that. and <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad we're doing something like this again. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah still a lot more think favorite things to do. I mean, I mean, some of them might get redundant, but this is actually a good one, so we're ready. Yep, surprised we didn't think of this a long time ago. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's get started here. Um, well, yeah. Where do you start, man? Um, childhood. I'm not, what? <laughs> childhood. <laughs> yeah. If I can try to go back, I mean, I, when I think childhood, though, I think of cartoons. Not actual like shows, sitcoms, or Most or count too. You know, just shows you watched on the television. Okay, I, I don't know. I guess I was thinking of a show, a series, or like, uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess I can like cartoons, whatever. Yeah, um, definitely Ninja Turtles was definitely uh, a cartoon I watched every afternoon, four thirty p.m. on Fox Forty Four in my area. Uh. Oh yeah, I, I would never miss the episode of Ninja Turtles Monday through Friday after school. Um, oh yeah, ECW. I mean, I, I one day I was riding. Um, I think I mentioned this in an old podcast or some, something one time. Um, I was riding around the bicycle with my friend uh, in this neighborhood, and and I noticed it was four thirty. I'm like, oh shoot, dude, I gotta go in. Why, Ninja Turtles, dude? He's like, man, you're you're a dork. I go, so I went inside and watched it. <laughs> Yeah, I would never. Just like almost like Rain Man freaks out when he misses the episode of Jeopardy. I would freak out if I missed the episode of Ninja Turtles. Did you have like a like a little bow staff and a, a bandana and <laughs> get all dressed up? Surprised, I'm surprised I didn't. I had a Don Tello watch. Oh, just a little but watch. I had a Don Tello watch. That was it. Um, oh, and Don you, it was a shell. You opened up the shell and, it, and you could see what time it was. It's turtle time. <laughs> and I did have video games, Ninja Turtles. Uh, I had Ninja Turtles sh- uh, boxers when I was a kid. Those are awesome. Um, but, and I think I had a, no, I didn't mind. That was a G.I. Joe lunchbox. But, yeah, uh, yeah. Ninja Turtles, definitely a show. I mean, I was hooked on, I, I was, it was it was to where it was almost unhealthy hooked. I mean, like almost an obsession with Ninja Turtles. Um, I remember I just, I was like, I prayed one day. I said, God, when I die, I want to be reincarnated into a Ninja Turtle. <laughs> You'll be Raphael, which will suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, yeah, I just love the Ninja Turtles to death, which is why I uh, love the video game for the NES. But I'm oh. getting on, on that topic. Uh, check out my low budget review, Ninja Turtles, shameless plug. Um, and the arcade game. Um, and Ninja Turtles was also on Saturday. On uh, CBS for a while. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I remember that too. I, I was, yeah, I do remember. Um, I was like, "Don't tell me you're talking about the horrible 2003 cartoon." Oh no, no. no. <laughs> Even though I think that's more based off the comic book, but still, yeah, it's the. I mean, the, the, still the cartoon I, I, was so much better, which is why the movie was kind of a mix between the comic book storyline and the the 80s cartoon. Right. Um. But yeah, I mean, Ninja Turtles, oh man, it's definitely my favorite cartoon of all time. I love Ninja Turtles so much. Yeah, the original, now like the new ones and such. Screw that. Which, I've seen them, they're not that bad, they're just, there's nowhere near as good as the original, of course. Doesn't yeah. reach the same charm. Yeah, really. Especially now that we're older, I mean, we're not going to really, if we were kids back then watching that, then maybe we would like it, then again, maybe not, because it's like, this ain't our... This isn't the real Ninja Turtles. Where's, you know, what's this? <laughs> and yeah, but I mean, like, if that if the 2003 version came on, when we were kids, and uh, I know it's kind of awkward to say that because we got you were a real little back then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just a little youngin. Yeah. Well, actually, well, it started in '87 before you were born. So by the time you were born, it was in its one, two, sixth season, I think. <laughs> Man. Real awesome, uh, yeah, and 
It's had ten seasons. Come to find out, I think it had ten seasons. It's like really, I think I, I didn't. I think I finally grew out of it or uh, stopped watching it when it's probably in its seventh or eighth season, which is probably like ninety. I don't know, ninety four, ninety five. Um, yeah. So, um, but yeah, man, there's definitely one of the most popular cartoons out there. I mean. So popular, you know, to spawn a movie and action figures and watches and video games, right. pizza. No, uh, and yeah, I mean, <laughs> well, a few months ago, I was watching a movie on YouTube and I was eating pizza just for the just for you know the heck of it. Well, pizza's good in general. I mean, why wouldn't you just eat it all the time, like me? I know, but it's Ninja Turtle, so it's a special occasion. Yeah, which actually, I'm eating pizza right now during this podcast, so isn't that convenient? Uh, yeah, no, we had to wow. eat your ass. That's ironic because we didn't even discuss what we're going to talk. About. That was ironic. We didn't even discuss what we're going to talk about first. And you already told me you're making pizza before the podcast. And then right when we talk, uh, right when we start the podcast, I'm bringing up Ninja Turtles while you're eating pizza. Yes, <clears throat> love it. Yep. It all flows together here on the ST 2K. Yep. Not the STs from Battle Clash. <laughs> it's a good thing Star Soldier's not in this. In this well, we'll say Metal Combat because that's the better one. We won't give him bad memories. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, J-Man, what about you? Um, okay, well, if we're still, like, on the childhood thing, uh, yeah. okay, besides the Ninja Turtles, obviously, um, Thundercats, oh. DuckTales, and Ooh. Transformers. Transformers is awesome. They made a movie. Um, yeah. Yeah, not yeah. a lot of people have really seen it, but um, let's see here what else. Um, Rainbow Bright. Um, who? <laughs> um, Jim, um, <laughs> who? Kira, uh, <laughs> who? I know, Tony. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Um, oh, yeah, they're doing the My Little Pony thing now, aren't they, or some shit like that, Brony? Yes, they are. Yep. Yes, yep. they wow. are. Yeah. Um, but seriously, uh, Thundercats was for That's me. Anyway. That, was, um, that was like Ninja Turtles, like, I watch that every day. It was a must. Yeah, I've heard of Thundercats, but I never, I don't think I've ever really sat down and watched them. Is it, were they like a space fighter jet cats or something, or they fly around and shoot? And, and, yeah, they, they, they had spaceships, and they fought the evil Mumra, and there's Lionel, and I don't remember all their names now, because it's been a long time, but yeah. It has an awesome beginning. Yeah. Flint or whatever. Thunder, Thunder, Thundercats. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's all I can really think of, like, childhood right now. Um, I watched all the Saturday morning cartoons, obviously, on the on Saturday. And... Yeah, DuckTales is freaking awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I always liked, um, freaking, uh, damn it, what's his name? Launchpad. Wait, Who? <laughs> Launchpad? Launch oh, I thought it said uh, Corn Shack or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, Corn Shack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, welcome to net, net, another episode of DuckTales. Here you get to play as Louie and uh, Stage 4 and, and uh, Uncle Scrooge Money Ben. Uh, oh, yeah, I, 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 I really I got pwned when I was a kid because I butchered their names. The same friend that made fun of me about Ninja Turtles, uh, I go, yeah, DuckTales, Huey, Dewey, and Bowie. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> What? Louie, you mean? Uh, uh-huh. Oh, okay. I thought you idiot. <laughs> and, yeah, but, yeah, definitely love DuckTales. Uh, I think it also came on after school. Yeah, um, 30. Yeah, it came on after school, and uh, I think alongside, if I remember correct, alongside Tiny Toon Adventures, or was it Beetlejuice? Heck, I don't know. It was one of those after school well, specials. Different uh, channels, but, yeah, because they had the Disney Afternoon. Yeah, a beat. I must say, Battle Clash, Beetlejuice. Um, oh man, yeah. that cartoon was awesome, but the movie sucked. I see. I think the other way around. Huh. If you want to think something sucks more, how about the game? But that's okay. Uh, uh, on that. I never played the game, so. <laughs> well, Jamie will say it sucks. Yeah, it's I loved Beetlejuice. He was so funny in the cartoon. Like this one guy's being a jerk to him. He goes, "You're fired," and Beetlejuice goes, "No." You're fire, and you know, like catches on fire or something. Oh yeah, he's like I've the master that. of puns. He's my inspiration for puns. No, um, no. but yeah, he was. Yeah, I, I love 
the cartoon. Uh, um, who's that big hairy country hick that you always had to feed with? Peter Juice, I'm going to get you. He's like a big hairy hick. monster or something. He's he's like a big mouth, and he's like hairy. I don't know. He's like a country ranch dude or something. And uh, dirty hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a show I kind of liked when I was a kid. Harry and the Hendersons. That's more like a long time no watch because I haven't seen that in a long time. Um, but yeah, um, DuckTales as well as the video games are awesome. Um, well, definitely, yeah, Launchpad, that goofy idiot. He was also on Darkwing Duck, which is another duck show I loved. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was an awesome uh, cartoon right there. Uh... I remember uh, his daughter, was his niece or daughter, Goslin? I don't know. I never really watched that show. Like, uh, it was an episode about wrestling. And uh, I think, I forgot, Goslin said, uh, oh, of course it's fake. It's pretend like it's real is the fun part. So, yeah, that was awesome. Um, and, yeah. Uh, let's see. We got... All right. Well, Sally, um, all those shows you mentioned, I just never watched. I mean, I could have had, like, the right channels, but I didn't. But actually, I never really watched uh, much, like, te- television when I was a kid or even cartoons. I was more like a, you know, get up in the morning and play video games kid at, like, you know, 7 a.m. But <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what I did watch before, like, 13 was when I really actually did, like, start waking up and watching TV, more in the teens, but... Um, actually, oh wait, oh yeah, there was only, I can only remember one, and that was the original Pokemon series, just, I remember getting up and watching that, that's all I can really think of, but, you know, it's Pokemon, what do you get, what do you expect, I mean, it's the classic, like, couple for season, which were pretty awesome, I remember, but, I actually can't really say much, because I actually kind of don't remember much of it, too, <laughs> but I do remember watching it, that's, that is the <laughs> thing I do remember watching, and it was when good. When did Pokemon come out? It came out in, like, 9... Okay, so, like, the games... It, the Game Boy games were 96, and the show came out before that. So it was probably 95, or Maybe I was, like, huh. 4 or 5 I, or so. When I first heard of it, I thought it was, like, a video game. And I, and I was... I mean, duh, it was a video game, but I didn't know it was based off a cartoon. And I was watching it... Oh, no, I, I was I saw the uh, title of it on, in an Nintendo Power magazine, I think. And I was like, Pokemon... What the heck is Pokemon? And then, then, and then I found out Pokemon, and I didn't. I still didn't understand it. And it's Jamaican Mon. Apparently, it's real popular. <laughs> the movie came, when the movie came out, there's still a lot of tickets. And oh yeah, the movie. Ah, uh, that I, I remember. I love what Pokemon is. There's freaking pop Pokemania is running wild. I love that movie. But yeah, <laughs> actually, I kept up with that for a while. That's like the only show like from my earliest days in childhood watching till like. I don't know, like the 2000s or so. Like I kept watching that show for the longest time, and then like I just stopped, which sucked because I still like that show. So I think that was like one of the first shows I ever watched, or remember at least. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, that's all I got for childhood stuff. <laughs> oh god. Also, uh, Mighty Mouse. I love Mighty Mouse. Uh, Tom and Jerry, of course. Uh. Tom and Jerry Kids. Uh, Tiny Toon Adventures is awesome. Of course, uh, Bugs Bunny, Ro- Road Runner, and Coyote. Uh, uh, that's probably it. It's probably not going to remember off the top of my head. Some more might come back to me later. Uh, oh, yeah, Tailspin sucked. That's a stupid cartoon. Um, uh, man, I know it's more. I just can't freaking... Oh, of co- uh Rescue Rangers was awesome. Uh, I don't know about the games. Too easy. But the cartoon is pretty awesome. Uh, and that might have been it. Um, Megavolt from Darkwing Duck was a crackhead villain. That guy, that freaking villain was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so as far as, far as cartoons, it, I think that might be it. Oh, do you know there was a Rambo cartoon? No. It sucks. <laughs> I seen on YouTube recently. It it looks stupid. Uh, Rambo was not Ram. I mean, it's a cartoon, so I guess it had to dumb down the violence and and stuff. And Rambo's 
hardcore attitude, but still, it's pretty stupid. Um, oh, of course, Power Rangers. Oh, God. You like Power <laughs> Rangers? Hell no. Why not? I did. <laughs> Same. Heck yeah. <laughs> and I, I had a crush on Trini. Um, and <laughs> Yeah, I say that one chick was pretty hot. Yeah, and I'm not sure. I think I heard she committed suicide years ago or something. Hmm. Uh, the Yellow Ranger, um, and then yeah, uh, I think you're right. Amy Jo Johnson, I think is still alive. And I don't know what she's doing though. Probably um, porno. What? Probably porno. <laughs> I heard about that, but I'm not sure if it's true. Okay, off topic for a second. Well, what a surprise to get off topic. Um, it's got a Skype notification. It is Green's birthday today, July 31st. Happy birthday, Green, if you're listening. Love, happy birthday. Um, actually, my favorite show was uh, Muppet Babies. No, um, Muppet Babies actually, brother, I loved, I loved Muppet Babies when I was a kid. It's kind of fun to watch. Yeah. Never. Power, Power Rangers, though, really was awesome, especially the five-part or three-part Green Ranger episode. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, Bulk and Skull were total idiots. Uh, I think the same actor that played as Bulk was the Power Rangers master. Because their face looked just alike. <laughs> um, you know that big uh, Wizard of Oz face that appear on the big screen when they talk to him? Yeah. Uh, Gone or some shit like that. Well, if you think Power Rangers is bad, which I, I don't, I thought it was awesome. Here's a show that was bad. Okay, I don't know if it was trying to rip off Power Rangers or what. But I think it only lasted one pathetic season. It's called... Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills. <laughs> Holy crap. And was that in response to the, the title of the show or that noise just now? Yeah, it was, that was for both. I was like, that's the only title, and holy oh. crap, Jamie just got sent something. Yeah, I sent something yeah. purple. Yeah. Um, and it was a TV show. <laughs> yep. The tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills was God... Awful. It is on YouTube to make fun of. Um, it is just. First of all, it, it it looks so fake. Like, I mean, yeah, you might say, well, Power Rangers looks fake too with their monsters and stuff. Well, this was even much worse. I mean, I can't I, I can't describe how horrible. But first of all, the name is too freaking long. Second. Uh, it, tat, tattoo Assassins rips off Mortal Kombat. Now you got Tattooed Fighters ripping off Power Rangers. What's the deal with these Tattoo Warriors ripping off people? Anyway, uh, it was it's horrible, horrible. The only thing I liked about it, they had one hot chick in there that was one of the Alien Fighters, and that was it. Other than that, it was horrible. Go check it out. Tattoo Teenage Alien Fighters from Beverly Hills. It was uh, horrible. Go watch it. It was... Terrible. I mean, it was the corniest, cheese, cheesiest cartoons or, or children's show or or the kid show. And I know Power Rangers can be corny too, but this was like horrible, horrible corny. Like plumbers don't wear ties. Bad. And as far as video games go, this is like, uh, yeah, terrible. That's that's the TV version of the game. Plumbers don't wear ties. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. So, a uh, purple. What about you? Um. Well, every Saturday I would always watch cartoons, but um, one that I watched like since I can actually remember was I Love Lucy. Um, I don't know. Yeah. That was just I don't know. I still watch I Love Lucy, and I probably always will because they never get old for me. I know almost all the scripts and everything like that, but it never gets old. Um. But cartoon wise, I used to watch um, Mummies Alive and Gargoyles. Um, no, I think I've heard of those. Yeah, they were they were pretty cool. They actually did have a storyline and you know kick ass parts and things like that. Um, it was I don't know. It was okay. It's it's outrageously corny now, but it was pretty damn cool then. Um, another one that I used to watch a lot later was Static Shock. Um, yeah, I don't know. He was just weird. He was, like, he, he lived in the ghetto, and he was actually black in the first place. <laughs> oh, crap, I remember that. 
Yeah. Didn't like he it was, too much, though. Yeah, he, he was pretty cool, though. Um, and he had, you know, the smart-ass sidekick. So that was pretty cool. Um, that's, yeah, that's really all I watched when I was younger, because I didn't really watch TV very much, except for, like, on Saturdays when the cartoons were on. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, you remember, there's another cartoon about John Candy. It was called Camp Candy. Yep, I remember that. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, it was... I have vague memories of it, but I do remember watching it and enjoying it. But, man, it's been so long. It's not one of those cartoons I fall over religiously like I did Ninja Turtles and DuckTales and stuff. But, yeah, I remember Camp Candy. Uh, remember that show Ernest had? The cartoon? No, it wasn't a cartoon. It was a, It was just like a... It was like Peavy's Playhouse, kind of. It was uh, a big... Uh, I, mm, remember Peavy's Playhouse? <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch Pee Wee's. Yeah. Uh, Still watch Pee Wee's play out. I had one episode on VHS called Ice Cream Soup. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I liked Pee Wee Herman. Uh, I think I've seen his movie, but vaguely remember it. Oh. Uh, and, yeah, so, hmm, as far as childhood shows, cartoons and stuff, I can't think of any more right now. But, if you want to, we can definitely move on to sitcoms. Um, uh oh, here we go, Family Matters. <laughs> Ronnie's favorite show. Freaking W. Um, I have a shirt, Vendley Industries, that someone gave me. My voicemail is me saying, Hi, you've reached Ronnie Green with Vendley Industries. I'm not here right now, but please, please leave a message. <laughs> I love Seinfeld. I used to have the entire collection until I sold it. But, yeah, it was, I man, love Seinfeld. Uh, first, when I first watched it, I did not get it. I was probably like a young teenager in high school, and I, or even before that, I think, I stumbled upon Seinfeld, and I was like, I don't get it. I mean, what are they laughing about? I don't get these jokes. Kramer's an idiot. He's not funny. Um, and so I was like, yeah, this show sucks. Then, like, later on, I think, as I got older, as I, got older and, uh, I stumbled upon Soundfield again, I was like, you know, I'm going to watch this one more time just to see if I understand it. And so I watched it, and then I said, okay, that, that wasn't bad. So I started getting hooked on it before you know it, and I loved Soundfield. I was like, man, <laughs> this is a pretty good show. I, I get it now. It's like you have to really read between the lines, and and it's... Yeah, it's a bunch of, not inside jokes, what do you call it? Just read between the lines, and you have to really understand the dialogue. Because if not, then you're really not going to get it. And that's why a lot of young people, like maybe young kids or whatever, they don't get hooked onto it. Like you get, young kids will get hooked on Family Matters, Step by Step, uh, and all that. But Seinfeld, you definitely have to be like kind of mature or maturing uh, to really understand the show. But, yeah, you know, freaking hilarious. It's about pretty much what can happen to you in everyday life. The stupidest things that they go through, especially George. <laughs> I mean, it, that's what makes it so funny. And George is actually a smart guy, but everything backfires on him. And he ends up getting pwned. So, George is my favorite character on that show. Oh, yeah. Jo George, hilarious, especially when he, uh, just, he's so conniving, tries to get away with how to break up with a girl, and uh, and the episode where he had that stupid uh, voicemail based off that song. Yeah. He goes, believe it or not, George isn't at home, so leave a message at the beep. <laughs> and that was, oh, man, George is just freaking ECW. And, yeah, Seinfeld, definitely uh, pretty much, my opinion, opinion, the best sitcom of all time. It is good. Yep. Yes, it is. How about you, J-Man? Um, I want Purple to go ahead and go, because I'm going to end up mentioning a bunch of stuff that she's going to mention, so go ahead. Um, sitcom. Well, yeah, of course, Seinfeld. Um, I don't really, I never really, uh, um, watch anything like that. Like, not really. Um, when I first saw Seinfeld, I, I got it, but I didn't completely get it. Now, it's, yeah, it's hilarious. Um, I just never got a chance to really watch it until recently. Um, no soup for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Had to do and it. Then, had to do it. Yeah. And then another one that I hadn't actually started watching and didn't, didn't really understand either until now was The Office. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. It just wasn't funny back then, but now I actually, I actually get it. So, uh, that's yeah, what that's she pretty said. cool. <laughs> um, actually, Jeff uh, used to watch that a lot. Well, he used to always say, him and Bear would say them jokes. That's what she said. <laughs> and, yeah, uh... All right, so yeah, the office. I, I never really watched it, but I know people that have, and they. I've seen parts of it though. So yeah, uh, yeah. Any more? Uh, no, that's that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and hand it to Jamin. Uh, okay. Yeah, I gave I I handed to her first because I thought she was gonna mention more, but okay, I'll, I'll, I'll I got a lot. Okay. <laughs> first of all, Seinfeld. Hell yeah! I actually never watched it until I moved to Florida when I was 21. Um, and then I, I just heard people talking about it, so I checked it out. And that wasn't too long before it went off the air. And, I don't know, it was, it was alright. They Yeah, it was when they started having, like, reruns Monday through Friday. And then I didn't watch it again for a few years. Um, so, I don't know, like 2004, 2005. And then, um, through the magic of the internet, I just downloaded all the, all the episodes and, like, watched them in order you know, like yeah. a month's time, and just loved it. Like, next time, though, next time. Um, okay, uh, some of my other favorites, uh, of course, Trailer Park Boys. Um, if anybody yes. If out there has not seen that show, you need to fucking watch it. It's on uh, YouTube, it's on Netflix, you got Netflix. Um, great show, <laughs> it speaks for itself. Jim Leahy rules the fucking universe. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> space talk. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Bubbles too. Of course, Rick. Yes. Do you still have that video up on YouTube, J-Man? Yeah, sure do. Cool, I gotta watch that again. That's how... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really watch the shows. I just seen those clips on that J-Man did and other clips on YouTube and Mr. Leahy just made me laugh so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, I gotta get up. Uh, Mr. Leahy, the car! <laughs> How drunk are you? Six out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, now speaking of Seinfeld, okay, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, the co-creator of it is Larry David, and uh, the, actually the character George is based off of him. So, like, a lot of things that happen to George actually happen to, to Larry in wow. real life. <laughs> so, um, but he has a show on HBO called Curb Your Enthusiasm, and, like, Ronnie, you'd you would like it. It's, you know, like, there's a lot of fuck and stuff. But <laughs> I, it's, it's funny. It's the same kind of George situation where it's just the worst things happen to him. And it's just, <laughs> he just has the worst luck in the world. And it seems like everything bites him in the ass. Yeah. It's just funny seeing him try to get out of situations. Yeah. Like that. Um, uh, speaking of Jeff... He did mention one good show that I started watching at, like after we met him, and that's called It's so Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Uh, uh, yes, yes. What what yes. what channel is that on, we guy, or what station? F A isn't it on F A or something? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, and it's these three guys that own a bar, and they have a waitress named D. And Danny, Danny DeVito. Right, and yeah, and yeah. their dad, quotation marks, is Danny DeVito, but it's not really their dad. Um, and then you have Charlie. <laughs> 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 yeah, Charlie. Um, the Nightman. <laughs> Nightman was <laughs> an episode. Awesome. Um, yes. Yeah, it's just, it's a really good show. It's hilarious. It's, Wasn't there a, a spinoff called It's Always Cloudy in Chicago? I believe so. And then there was also, it's always polluted in Los Angeles. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, I know I got more than that. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, it's always windy in Chicago, I should have said. <laughs> it's always tornado-y in Texas. I oh, feel. It's always raining in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's always getting off topic in S2K. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Oh. oh, oh yeah, that's a great show. Yeah, there's there's also like a lot of good eighty shows. Um, like I loved Knight Rider when I was a kid. That was every Friday. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, and the A Team. Hell yeah. Um, Magnum PI. Yeah. And 
Yeah, Tom Selleck with his big mustache. And yeah. Again. What do you, how do you go? Do you go dun 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 TC and Rick. <laughs> yeah, that guy that was always with him, his manager, I don't know who he was. I forgot, it's been so long. Yeah. Um, Sidekick or whatever. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, well, TC was like the helicopter guy and, and Rick was, okay. uh, he was, I think he was like a private eye too. I don't, I don't freaking know. I haven't watched a show forever. Um, the episode where some guy kept on eating, and he got fat and like blew up. <laughs> I don't know. What talking about. <laughs> I think that's just a dream sequence or something. It was. Um, it had something to do with Tom Selleck. Maybe it wasn't Magnum PI, but anyway. Uh, but eighteen was awesome. The, What's eighteen? Eighteen. Oh, the eighteen. I thought I said eighteen. No. Oh. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Eighteen. Oh yeah. That's another show I watched. A lot when I was a kid, Mr. T. And yeah, he'd never go on a on an airplane or helicopter, and they'd have to trip. Mm-hmm. And get one. I'll tell you, Hannibal, better put a plane full. And put him to sleep. He wakes up. No, 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 yeah. He woke up on the plane. And but don't and still get on the helicopter. Yeah. Murdoch was freaking hilarious. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. I remember Mr. Oh, T was on each of them time, and then that time where Murdoch got shot, like he was looked like he was dying, and all of a sudden. Mr. T got soft. Hey, buddy. I hope you make it, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I remember that episode. <laughs> there was one where... Uh, Hulk, yeah, Hulk Hogan was in one. Uh, there was one where Murdoch uh, was on Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I remember that one. On a car and, like, took off, like, like drove off the stage with it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the one with Hulk Hogan. That was freaking awesome. Uh, of course, it makes sense because they, they wrestled together. I always like how everything exploded, but you'd see the people, like, crawl out, you know. <laughs> Nobody did, anybody, did anybody die or get shot? <laughs> Nobody ever died. I don't even know. Nope. got I shot, didn't. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Colonel Decker would always try to track him down? <laughs> yeah, because uh, they, were, they were AWOL or they left the... Uh, uh, yeah, something like that. From yeah, I, I had a cassette. They were fugitives. Yeah. Yeah, I had a cassette where you could listen to a, the whole episode. I forgot which one it was, but it was the episode where Mr. T takes someone's a contract and chews it in his mouth. This is what I think you contract do, <laughs> and just chews it. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. And, like, I had a cassette tape of it. I don't know why they had audio cassette tape of an episode. I guess if you're blind, I guess if you can't see it. You can listen, listen to it. I don't know. Mm. But I had that, and that was awesome. Uh, I think I had an A-team I don't know if I had action figures. I think I had the van when I was a kid. I don't know. Uh, if, I, if not, I wish I'd still have it now. That'd be awesome. Uh, I never saw the movie, though. To this day, I never saw the movie. So. Me neither. Actually, I didn't even know they had a movie. Holy shit. Yeah, 2010, I think, the A-Team. Oh, uh, okay. All right, yeah. All right. I was thinking, like, yeah. today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, but, yeah oh, A-Team was awesome. Well, that's all I can think of, really. At this moment, yeah. Anyway. yeah. Um, I I knew of the team before Rocky Three because I didn't want Rocky Three came out when I was real little. I, it yeah. came out when I was like two years old, so I wasn't uh, probably I don't remember that far back. So, um, I, and the eighteen came on. I, I watched it like definitely early eighties, eighty seven, eighty eight, maybe somewhere around there. Yeah. So I, I heard first heard of Mr. T through the A team, not through wrestling or Rocky. So. Yeah, that's how I first found out about him. And I don't know what happened to the other actors today. Murdoch, Hannibal, and Face. I don't know what they're, what movies and stuff they've done ever since then. I don't think anything. Um, there, there was a Mr. T cartoon. Them yeah, I think I remember that. I heard of Mr. T was that cartoon. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got... All right, so wait, what are we talking about again? Kind of had a brain freeze because of all these shows I don't remember. <laughs> I was sitcoms, then we got off topic and just regular sitcoms. Whatever. Actually, this just... is whatever. We're all over the map now. All right. Skip's gonna love that. Well, <laughs> yeah, I opened it up. <laughs> Make a map to comedy. No. Yeah. No, the, I do Rock remember Star watching when I was a kid. That was awesome. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. Ugh. It was a skip. Oh, <laughs> I wish there was. <laughs> yeah, they're on VHS. Oh wait. Yeah. 
VH1? No, whatever. Um, <laughs> They're on Laserdisc. No. <laughs> um, all right, but uh, now for all the all the sitcoms you mentioned, I definitely saw those like well well after you know like a couple years ago when searching them up and all. But actually, one that I do remember growing up with and actually watching is that '70s show, yeah. which no, nothing near my de- demographic, but it was I loved basically the characters. The characters is what sold me on that show, and actually is. That's probably the best thing you can have for your show is just memorable, loving characters, which I, I love them all, Wait, especially Red Foreman. You born yet. <laughs> I love Red. In the 70s show, you were born came, yet. No, I'm just kidding. I know. That was, like, yeah, 99? I think that's when 70s. it first debuted. Oh, I don't think you can't. It's about remember. the 70s. <laughs> yeah, it's about the 70s, man. I was born yet. <laughs> and it was just, yeah, the show was just great. I mean, all the characters of, you know, Red Foreman... I, I was I, I right there was just about to say George, George Foreman, Foreman, but that's, <laughs> <laughs> George Foreman. I actually went to school with a kid Foreman. named George Foreman. That seventies girl. <laughs> that seventies. Yes, that seventies girl. <laughs> that seventies girl. Oh, yeah, but no, like you know, like Red Eric, um, uh, Kelso. Jackie Donna, all the just hide, hide all the great just memo characters and that. Have any of you guys seen that show or really watched it oh, yeah. much? I have. I love. I always show. Tuned, I always tuned in for the new episodes. It was great. And Fez, oh god, I love Fez. He's, yeah, Mala, so great. Mala Tunis, whatever her name is, yeah. uh, she was Mila she was an episode of Walker, Texas Ranger, when she was like a little kid or maybe a young teenager. I used to watch that too. Now I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Ronnie loves that show. <laughs> he does. <laughs> Chaka Norris. Yeah. No, but, um, yeah, I guess that's all I could really say. It's just, a, that is a great sitcom that I do, that I actually, the only one I really probably grew up with and watched till the end. It was sad when it ended. But then it turned into the 80s, and so it would have been that 80s show, which they actually did main, and it sucked so bad that it only made, like, a few episodes. Yeah, I, I know that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was like, I remember seeing. I was like, "What? Hey, they show they're continuing." And I was like, "Wait, there. These are none of the same characters and actors." And oh, this sucks. Yeah, <laughs> this is probably what everyone did. They were just like, "Oh, this is lame." Well, huh? And yeah, a good thing it died because the semi show lives on as a really great show. I love, lo- love it. So funny. So many quotes too that I can cite. It's great. But really. The only one I can really say, I mean, you know, I, I, I love the Seinfeld and all the others you mentioned, Always Sunny in Philadelphia and just uh, just all those great shows. Um, is, this, is there going to be another topic of, like, now just all-out shows or... Yeah, like, have you seen that 20 show? It's, um, like, all the characters move really fast and they're black and white. <laughs> nope. <laughs> have you seen nope. that 1700 show where they yeah. signed the Declaration of Independence? Yeah, that was it, awesome. I, <laughs> uh, no, well, I'm trying to think of others that are the same in sitcoms, but can't really think <laughs> too much well, about speak, them. Speaking of Walker Texas Ranger, yeah, love Walker Texas well, Ranger. I still watch it on YouTube now. I have seasons one through well, I had two through five. I used to have one. Uh, never got six, seven, eight. But man, I love Walker Texas Ranger. I just love the the character of Walker. I mean, besides the fact he's Chuck Norris, uh, I mean, it's just good. It's a good natured show. It's a family show, uh, and corny at times, real corny. It's yeah. stupid, but and the acting's bad. But I mean, it's, it's freaking Chuck Norris and Walker Texas Ranger has a lot of good drama and good storylines. Um, Hulk Hogan was in that one too. Or Hulk Hogan's in everything. <laughs> uh, Roddy Piper was also in uh, Walker, Texas Rangers, along with some other, other wrestlers not that well-known, Ahmed Johnson, the Angel of Death. And, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of uh, a lot of wrestlers in that series. Um, yeah, and it was an awesome show. Um, let's see, Mila Kunis was in one, or Mila, whatever. Um, the wrestler Sting was in one. He was the main bad guy. Uh there's a lot. Uh, almost everybody has been in an episode of Walker Texas Ranger. I mean, almost everybody. Actors, big time act. Gary Busey was in one. Um, and I can't think of any more, but I know there's a lot of people. Uh, the guy, I think they got a uh, fall. Here's another show, Fall Guy. That's an old show, 80s. 
Fall Guy. He he was in there in an episode. Um, so yeah, there there was a lot of uh, famous people. And I can't think of them on top of my head. I don't know why. Just those few people I thought of. There's been a lot more um, in that series. And yeah, it was one thing that kind of bothered me though. But I guess a lot of shows do this. They recycle the same actors to play the different characters in different seasons. You know, you know what I mean. Like you see a, the main bad guy in in a season four episode, and you go, "Wait a minute, that's the same villain from season one." Come on, he looks the same. But I guess they think, "Well, that was years ago. You're not going to really remember. Plus, he looks different now, so we'll recycle this character or re- have this actor play a new character." Well, it's kung fu. Let's can. Rangers, Rangers, yeah, the Texas Rangers, um, I don't even know, when I first heard that show, I'm like, oh, there are cops who are Texas Rangers, I thought that was just a baseball team, mm-hmm. no, there are cops, Texas called Texas Rangers, like, wow, uh, so yeah, and Chuck Norris is actually an honorary Texas Ranger, so that's pretty awesome, um, I think they're having a new reunion show coming up probably this year or next year. Uh, and that tri- Trial by Fire movie sucked. It was non-canon, so it wasn't. So I don't count it as part of Walker Texas Ranger. That movie sucked. Uh, it's just like the Zelda CDI series, non-canon to the Zelda games. Is that is non-canon to the Walker series too? And screw that show. It sucked. Um, and yeah, um, Kung Fu Legends continues. Love that show. I watched it when I was in uh, elementary school, 93, 94. <laughs> and yeah, rest in peace, David Carradine. I love David Carradine. He was awesome. He was awesome in Kung Fu, The Legend Continues, along with Chris Potter. Uh, Mar- Martin Cove played in, uh, I think, two episodes. Um, yeah, and one part I told Jamin about where his son goes, man, this guy's more, got more friends than Bill Clinton. And then Kane goes, uh, Bill Clinton, like he didn't know who he was, and his and his son goes, yeah, never mind. <laughs> so yeah, it was a, a great show. Uh, David Carradine is an awesome actor. I mean, he's he's very awesome, which is why Israel Savvy died in 2009. Um, and that's what made me go back and watch all the episodes on YouTube, and. Uh, yeah, so Kung Fu Legends continues. Another uh, favorite of mine from when I was a kid. All right, y'all got any more? Any shows? Yeah, I got a lot more shows. Oh, it. I guess. All righty then. I guess. I guess you guys have talked about your shows. I guess I should actually name one of my favorite shows of all time, which is uh, Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yes. The U.S. version, that is. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Not just in the UK. The UK is still great, but of course it's different humor from UK to US. I love the US muscle because that's what I had and what I grew up with, which nothing I grew up with. Who's line? And it was great. It was just hilarious, hilarious improv of you know Ryan Styles, Colin Mockery, Wayne Brady, and the various fourth person, you know Jeff Davis, Brad Sherwood, uh, Kathy Gilmore, Chip Eston, just all the great, all the greats. Just they're, they're all just so hilarious in their improv. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I have one problem with that show. Drew fucking Carey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm the host Carey. What do you yeah, got against Drew like Carey? Carey? He sucks. Do you like the show? <laughs> no, I don't like... Well, the, 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 hold on. The Drew Carey I show... The, the, it's hard to say. The, 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 the Drew Carey show... Um, yeah, I liked I was it at first. That, cause I, actually... I liked it at first, but then it got too stupid and sentimental with him falling in love with Kate or finally get married to her then her just up and leaving him out of nowhere and Ew. and then and his brother who's a cross dresser falls in love with Mimi and I mean, that's, I mean that that was that was an interesting storyline but at the same time I uh I don't know, it's just it got real sappy in the end. Real stupid. And and I like Drew Carey because I well, I'm not a real big fan of his, but I thought it was awesome when he entered the 2001 WWF Royal Rumble and almost got killed by Kane. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's hilarious. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. If you want to see it? It's on YouTube. It's, it's kind of funny. It's just interesting, like, yeah. you got to be serious. Why is he in the Royal Rumble? 
Yeah. But anyway, this is you get. yeah, that's the only thing I really like. He's he's actually in the WWE um, Celebrity Hall of Fame because of that. That's so, along with Pete Rose and uh, okay. Sylvester Stallone, I think he's in there. No, no, he's not. He inducted Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> he inducted Hulk Hogan. But anyway. Yeah, Drew Carey, whose who's show is it anyway, or whatever it's called. Who, whose turn is it to talk anyway? We got? Drew Carey. Oh. I was just saying, like, I like the Drew Carey show. It was yeah, a good show. Just, this is good. Nothing really too remarkable, but it was, you know, it was, it, it was still funny to me. But whose line takes the cake as my favorite and just stall time funny. Just, just love all the ridiculous, the ridiculousness they come up with. It's, it's just hilarious. I can't stand that witch of a boss he had, that old woman. I forgot her name. Drew Carey's boss, Who? this old woman, I forgot, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Oh, Mrs. Show? Louder, I think, I don't know. I don't remember, I haven't seen that show in a while, but I there was watched another episode where this guy claimed he was Satan, and tried to steal Kate, uh, Kate's soul, oh. and uh, they were playing pool over her, and Drew Carey against, against Satan, and he goes, alright, if I get this in the park corner pocket, the virgin Kate will be mine, and they start laughing, <laughs> virgin, <laughs> It goes. What are you talking about? Uh, she's not a virgin, dude. <laughs> oh, forget it. <laughs> You're a virgin. <laughs> You're a sword. Wait. Okay. Um. So yeah. But I, I I still got more if you want me to keep rolling them out because I'm sure these will bring up uh, got you one. know more like oh yeah that show I got one. Saved by the bell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. Saved by the freaking bell, and I'm not talking about. Those junior high episodes, that's non-canon. That's Screw those junior high episodes. Those were boring. Yeah. Those absolutely sucked, which is why they scrapped that show and re uh, revamped it into the high school episodes. Right. I was confused oh. at first. Cause, oh, what was that? Did they have Mr. Belding in the junior high ones, too? Yes, they did. Okay, yeah, all right. The only people that were that went from the junior high episodes to the high school ones... Zach, Screech, Lisa, and Mr. Belding. I think that's it. Yeah, because Slater wasn't there yet, right? Yeah, he wasn't there. Jesse and Kelly wasn't either. And the high school episodes were awesome. All five, it's actually, yeah, five seasons. You're thinking, wait a minute, there's only four grades in high school. Why is there five seasons? <laughs> Did they all fail one year? And, uh, <laughs> no, what happened was... That's college, weren't they? Yeah, oh yeah, they had the college. Th- those are okay. Those are pretty good, but not as good as the high school ones. Right. Um, they're definitely better than junior high ones, I'll tell you that. Uh, what happened with, the reason why there were five seasons is because if you remember, I think there was a season where Jesse and Kelly were not in it. It was Tori, this biker chick that Zach fell in love with. Um, and, yeah, and so I think because Elizabeth Berkeley and Tiffany Amber Thiessen, the, the, the actresses who played as Jessica Spano and Kelly Kapowski, uh, had a, uh, m- a money dispute or contract dispute with NBC or whatever, and so uh, and then I guess they uh, went ahead and did the se- the season without it, and then I guess they actually reached an, a negotiable deal with them and decided, oh well, let's uh, go ahead and end this season uh, as it's not the last season. Then the fifth season would be when they graduate, something like that. Kevin from S2K told me the whole story. Uh, he probably tell it better than I can, or you just go to Wikipedia, <laughs> find yeah, out. Yeah. Go to the internet. Um, and so yeah, I love that. I watch that every day after school, also on TBS. Yeah. Um, the junior high episodes. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, I th- I think they realized uh, the whole. Kevin told me the whole series was based around Miss Bliss, the teacher. Yeah. It wasn't based around Zach Morris. Yeah, it was actually called something different at first. Like, it was something Miss Bliss. That was the name of the show. And then they changed it for Save by the Bell. I don't know. Oh, Dear Miss Bliss. Yeah, it's something oh, like that. Good morning, Miss Bliss, I think. Yeah. Oh, something, good morning. Yeah, it's something crap. Good night, uh, Miss Crap, because the show sucked. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh-huh. They, they didn't the hot school episodes, that, like, Zach, the, the character, Mark Paul Glosser, whatever his name was. Yeah. Zach Morris is standing there. Hey, guys, it's me, Zach. Every time he stood there... Before a show started, you knew what was coming up. He was going to say uh, another uh, episode of the junior high years are coming on. Like, oh, crap, change it. Mm-hmm. And, I, and uh, it's like, 
I don't know why. Why did we go back to that? It's supposed to be forgotten about. Why would they go back and show that? Oh, I mean, why did they revamp it? They had to revamp it for a reason because it sucked. I mean, oh, it, the only episode I probably kind of found interest, interesting was when Zack was about getting a fight with his friend. It's not Slater, but kind of like a generic white version of Slater. Um, uh, I don't know. It was Zack, Screech, and then that one kid, uh, Mikey. Mikey was his name. He had, a, I think, had a mullet, a mullet like Slater. Um, and they about to get in a fight because Zack, uh, asked out a girl that he knew Mikey liked. Mikey found out about it, and he, they wanted to fight each other. And then, of course, I think Miss Bliss or Mr. Belding stopped it. I don't know. Anyway, it wasn't as epic as the fight between Slater and Zach. Yeah. That 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 maneuver got real. <laughs> um, and yeah, it was. Uh, that, that was a good episode. Where Zach and Slater got in a fight. But, but anyway, I can't believe the junior high episodes. I'm glad they scrapped it. And, uh, yeah, it was boring. And then the high school episodes is when it got tight. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, and the episode Screech wanted to fight Zach because Zach was dating Lisa. And you know how how Screech loved Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> and Screech was wanting to beat the crap out of Zach, which Zach would have murdered him. Yeah. But, but Screech was not scared. He was standing up to him, and I think he pushed him or he did stupid things. Like he tore his pocket off his shirt, stepped on his toes. Come on, fight! And Zach, Zach just didn't want to fight him because, you know, he didn't want to hurt him. That's his friend. He's like, he, Screech, I don't want to fight you. And, uh, and then Lisa talked to him and slapped him. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, <laughs> Lisa would whoop Zach, Screech, too. Uh, well, not and, now. <laughs> that dude went on celebrity boxing and beat the shit out of this other guy. Uh, well, that's Samuel, I mean, uh, not Samuel Powers. That's Screech's yep. name. Uh, Dustin. Dustin Diamond, Dallas Page, whatever his name is, yeah, yeah uh, he, yeah, he, uh, what, the Screech, though, I mean, I love Screech, he was hilarious, uh, I, I liked all of them, maybe, except, uh, I don't know, I, I guess I liked all, all the characters saved by the bell, even Mr. Belding, he was a good principal, and, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, yeah it, was, it, wouldn't been, it wouldn't have been such a good show without Mr. Belding, I mean, oh, yeah, the, the, the feud, the quote-unquote feud, between Zach and, yeah. and Mr. Belding, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, yeah. Especially in the end, where the, when they graduated, you know, they, you know, they, they they're gonna miss each other. Right. I mean, that was, uh, and yeah, the last episode where Zach was gonna fail, but he actually ended up passing. He's had to dance in a ball- ballerina suit or something to get credit. That was pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, the whole series, man, very epic series. I had season one or three or one or two on DVD. I don't think I have any more. But, yeah, uh, great stuff. Say by the Bell, uh, definitely awesome. I thought it was stupid at first. I didn't even give it a chance. I just saw parts of it, and a lot of girls liked it, so I was like, that show looks stupid. <laughs> Who's this preppy guy? Preppy, is that his name, Preppy? <laughs> and, yeah, but... Preppy, yeah. The episode, I think it's the first episode was, I think it was when Zach and Slater first met, and they did not like each other at first. Not at all. They, they did not like each other. Then I guess they warmed up to each other, and became friends, and yeah, I think they were both trying to go after Kelly. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they were. Then he met Jesse. Yeah, he met Jesse, and I guess they became cool with each other. Then that one time they had a fight, but then they they uh. There's about to get in a fight again, and I, that was kind of well. Zach's, I guess Zach's kind of a tough guy, but. I was thinking, yeah, right. Slater would have whooped Zach. Come yeah. on. He wrestled too, so. <laughs> Wrestle, yeah, well, he, that's what he did. Took down Zach and then punched him in the face. <laughs> first, Zach uh, got the first punch in, and then but Slater took him down with the wrestling hole, and then, push, and now the girl, stop that, stop that. Mister Belding came over with his wig, and uh, that was when later on the Max about to get in a fight, the, did the throwing punch at each other, and I think Slater put some down his pants. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, oh, oh, I hated that damn Max guy. Oh yeah, I, I thought he was cool. He was, he was. I remember that waiter that worked at the Max, James, that actor. He was like an actor that played as Zach's dad, tried to fool Mr. Belding, and he poses Mr. Belding trying to fool Zach's dad, and it backfired on Zach when they both found out about each other. <laughs> that was that was good stuff. Uh, that yeah, one funny thing though, I think this might have been a real life blooper that they kept on the air. Um. 
the actor James that he was posing as Zach's dad. And they were in Mr. Belling's office and talking about his grades and stuff. And uh, or it might have been he was playing he was playing somebody, some Harvard recruiter or Zach's dad, I don't know, he's one of his personas, he had a fake beard on. A fake beard. And he turned around to wink at Zach, like, Yeah, we got this and when he did that his beard came apart. And he put it back together real quick, and the audience busted out laughing, and Zach was standing there smiling, almost breaking character. And the audience kept on laughing, and, like, it looked like something went wrong and wasn't supposed to happen. It might have been a blooper that they kept on there because it was funny. Because Zach was not supposed to be laugh, smiling or laughing at that moment. And he, it, 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 you could tell he wanted to laugh, and the audience was laughing. It kind of broke the, the whole uh, sequence right there. And then, but Zach kept on going with it, and I guess they rolled with it because they didn't say cut because I thought it was funny. I guess that they said, well, let's pretend like they meant to happen. When at the same time, you could probably tell uh, that's a blooper, but let's keep it in there because it's lulls. So that was yeah, those moments are funny. That was hilarious. Um, and yeah, Say by the Bell was a good sitcom. Not so much the uh, the new class. Say by the Bell, the new class, where it's Mr. Belling's still in it, Screech is like a teacher there, and then everybody else is like new students. Eh, not really. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I know what they try to go for. You can't recreate a good thing. I mean, I, like, you know, you can't go back like, oh, man, that was a good time. Let's try to make something else similar to it and make it as good. You just can't do it. And they try to do that with Say by the Bell, the new class. The college years is different because that's the same characters. Well, a few different ones, but the, some of the main characters are still in it. Uh, just Jesse was not in it at all, at all. And uh, Lisa made like a one-time appearance, I think. And that was it. Uh, now, one cool thing about Saved by the Bell, the new class, there was an episode where, yeah, he, uh, this guy wanted to, uh, came back, I think this is the mayor or something, he wanted to shut down the school and build something else. And then the old school characters came back. Zach, Lisa, and I think Slater all came back, made an appearance in that show, trying to convince the guy to stop, uh, shut down the school. And eventually uh, his old high school sweetheart came back and convinced him. That gave him warm, fuzzy memories about Bayside. Oh, yeah, I remember my high school sweetheart. Okay, I can't shut down the school. <laughs> that was like probably the best episode of the new class when you got to see the old school people come back. Uh, Zach with his college hairdo from uh, the college years. Um, so, yeah. And then I think NBC tried to do a Stay by the Bell-esque show, which, eh, not that good. California Dreams. And, yeah, not not ECW, really. It, I think it's trying too hard to be a Stay by the Bell, but it wasn't about school it was just about dreams no i don't know um so yeah and yeah but say by the bell uh man it really ranks up there as far as sitcoms and uh like seinfeld and probably not as good as seinfeld but kind of up there with it if that makes sense yeah. uh it, nope. it, and uh yeah it was uh said by the bell is definitely one of my uh one of the shows i watch religiously i've seen every episode you know, um, another good show is on NBC too. Uh, about the same time, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna mention yeah. that. Yeah. Oh yeah, I loved. Uh, that's one of the shows I was thinking of too before we did this podcast. Like, I'm definitely gonna talk about Fresh Prince. Yeah. Shredder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's insane. Uh, James Avery, the actor who plays his uncle Phil, was the voice yeah. of Shredder in the old school Ninja Turtles. That's ECW. Of mashed potatoes. <laughs> and he will dine on turtle soup. Oh, guess who else What made appearance in the Fresh Prince? Uh, Sherman Hemsley, rest in peace. Oh, yeah, uh, George what? Uh, George Jefferson. Yeah, he was in Fresh Prince. He was uh, Uncle Phil's mentor. Oh, yeah, wasn't he a judge too? He was a judge. He turned all corrupt and stuff. And Yeah. I was thinking, I posted a, a status on Facebook saying, man... This is sad because when I watched the episode of Fresh Prince where where Sherman Hemsley, the character, uh, I forgot his name, where he drops dead, it's going to make me think, man, but he really is dead. 
And so, yeah, that, so when I see the episode now, it's going to suck, saying, yeah, well, <laughs> he really is dead in real life, the actor. Because um, there was an episode where Will got mad at him because he was talking bad about Phil. And Will goes, you know what? If you don't like it, you can just drop dead. And right then, he had a heart attack and just dropped dead. <laughs> and then uh, everybody was like, looking at Will like he killed him. <laughs> and at the funeral, at the funeral, like, I think people were only there to make sure he was dead or happy that he was dead. <laughs> even, even his wife was there. Talking about the only time he ever sweet taught me was when your sister coming around. <laughs> and then this one guy. Uh, uh, Will got up there and said, I can't believe you guys. A, a man is dead here. Show some respect. And uh, one guy, I think one guy stood up and said, uh, um, uh, I'm just, I'm not here to, to, to say anything good about him. He, he sent me to, to to jail for a crime I didn't commit. I'm just here, here to make sure the man's dead. <laughs> and then like some other guy stood up and told Will, man, who are you? And Will goes, Psh. Who am I? I? I'm the guy that killed him. <laughs> and then everybody started clapping for him. Everybody gave Will an applause, and, and the audience was like, Oh, hell. Oh. And then uh, <laughs> Phil and Will, Phil and Will, Phil and, <laughs> Phil and Grace, no, um, oh, Phil, Phil and Will look at each other and go, Tough room. He goes, Yeah. After that, the coffin, like the Will and the coffin broke and scared everybody. <laughs> As if uh, he's turned over in his coffin or something. Oh, I'm going to haunt you. <laughs> but yeah, rest in peace, Sherman Hensley and, and the Jeffersons. That was a good show, too. Yeah. Yes. R.I.P. Oh, I thought I said, all righty, like you're about to move on. Oh, all righty right. then, moving on. Rip, I, I didn't know what R.I.P. stood for. And I was like, what does Rip mean? Someone dead, like their soul is ripped from their body, and they go to heaven. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they they rip a fart after they die. Yeah. But uh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fresh Prince definitely awesome. Um. Carlton was hilarious. Oh yeah, dance. Carlton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So a lot of great episodes. Jazz. Uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. First person is so freaking hilarious. Will and Carlton together, man. Especially Carlton, so dorky. Oh yeah, yeah. you remember the one where uh, Carlton became like gangster? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and Zeus, who used to wrestle or be an actor. Uh, yeah, Tiny Zeus Lister was yeah. in an episode. Debo. Yeah, he's he also that's not actor playing Walker by the way. Um. Yeah, and yeah, I remember the episode. Carlton's all gangster, and then Carlton's mom had to come down and take him home. Carlton's mom was all poning all them gangsters. Like, boy, don't test me. <laughs> Made Zeus say, "Yes, ma'am." <laughs> Didn't she like pull him by the ear or something? Pull Carlton by the ears, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Will's mother. Uh, yeah, Will's mother would pwn Will all the time, and. Yeah. Um, the only thing I like about First Print, they had some sad, sentimental moments. You know, one of those family matters stuff. Yeah. Uh, lesson of the week, but sometimes it got too sappy. Like when Will's dad showed up out of nowhere, and then he left him again, left him hanging. They got all serious, and Will started crying. Yeah. Or, what the hell with him? <laughs> and Phil hugged him. And, and the episode where Will overdosed on, or Carlton overdosed on speed. Dude, oh, God. Fun. Doing the Carlton dance too much, and then he's, yeah, and because Will gave it to him or something like that, I don't know, and Will started crying. You know, you go, oh no, I think Carlton took it by mistake, and found him in Will's locker. Man, you got any aspirin? You got any this and that? And then yeah, yeah, go ahead in, in my locker. Took the speed by mistake because Will was using speed because he was having a hectic life like college, basketball practice and all that. He was all telling uh, Phil. Well, you know, I mean, uh, I didn't mean for this to happen to Carlton, man. I, uh, I had basketball practice and, and just I had to study. And, and Phil goes, well, welcome to the real world, Will. And so good lesson there, but still sappy for a show that's supposed to be funny. and Yeah. I don't know, but 
it was still a good series. Last episode was freaking sad, but for it's a good sad. It was the last episode, and they're all moving out of the house, and yeah, yeah, it was it was good stuff. Man, that was an awesome show, man. I loved Fresh Prince. Yeah, when he met uh on the first episode when he first moved in, he he met Carlton, and Phil goes, "Look who's here, Will," and Will goes, "Hey, who is it?" <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, uh, Uncle Phil goes, Will, I want you to meet my uh, law firm partners, uh, Earthwind and Meyer. And Will goes, oh, Earthwind and Fire, which next album coming out? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's classic Will Smith. Yeah. It's the best. Yeah. yeah. One of the best shows. In, in his prime. prime. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, J-Man's favorite, Blossom. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Awesome. Whoa. 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 I Whoa. hated that fucking show. <laughs> that that so and then he hated it. so boring. That, the only reason why I was... I, I think I watched it a little bit, but I was like, yeah, I didn't really hooked on to it. It was it was a show that would come on before Money, not Raw. So I was I was just watching just the past time before Raw came on. And it would come on after Fresh Prince and before Raw, so... I guess I had the perfect time slot to catch people's attention on the yeah. board. Yeah. Didn't just play video games? <laughs> I thought I thought 6 was cute, but other than that, screw the show. Um, He's a 6 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> How cute are you? 6 out of 10? Uh, Not bad. And Joey got my nerves. Whoa, a stupid music video he did. The, uh, I think Saturday Night Live made a parody of it where all he did was sing, Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Whoa! And dancing around <laughs> with his jacket halfway off, looking cool. Shut up. More like a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that. Uh, yeah. Well, since you mentioned Saturday Night Live, is that is that a good show oh, yeah. that you like to watch? Hey, you, I don't know about now, but back well, then, not now, no. Chris Farley, Chris Elliott, and Kevin Nealon, yes. and oh. all of them were. Oh heck yeah. Yeah, the 90s. Those are the best Saturday Night Live times. Oh, hell yeah. Phil Hartman and Adam Chrysler. Party. Oh, God yes. bless Chris Party. Yes, please. He's He is the... He's what made... Well, he's actually yeah, kind of what made me watch it, because he was the first person I saw on Saturday Night Live. Chris Farley. Because when you live in a van down by the river! <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David Spade, of course. Yep. You know, yeah, they were real good. trio of guys. Yeah, um, yeah, and I remember the episode of Saturday Night Live where The Rock made his first appearance. Oh yeah, and they had they also had uh, uh, damn it, what's his name? Uh, the Big Show and yeah. Triple H and, and somebody else was on it too. Yeah, I remember that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, the, I think I was talking about um, Vince McMahon made an appearance on there too. I think. Um, the Rock, uh, the Rock was on there twice. The second time, I didn't like it that very much. The first time, though, he was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, he played as Clark Kent. And <laughs> a black Superman. <laughs> he, yeah, but what was funny was, like, <laughs> they was there, Lois was there, and they were at the, at the whatever newspaper company is called, uh, Superman. Um, and the Daily Planet. Yeah, mm-hmm. the Daily Planet. Not the Spider-Man paper, newspaper company, but uh, yeah, the Daily Planet and it's the Daily Bugle, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say one was yeah. the Daily Bugle, one was the Daily Planet. Yeah. The Daily Planet. Um, it like Clark Kent, or The Rock playing as Clark Kent would come in there in his uh, Clark Kent suit, but you could still see the Superman suit sticking out through the collar of his suit and did the um, uh, collar of his wrist and all that. Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, I had to. Uh, uh, take care of, a, of an emergency, and Lois and all the people in the office is like, "Sure, Clark." And like they they know it's Superman. They know he's just terrible at hiding his identity. And so it was uh, that part was hilarious, and uh, they started messing with him, talking about, "Hey, yeah, uh, so I hear Superman saved the city again." Oh yeah, he's 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 awesome, and they go, "Yeah, I heard he's gay." He's like, "Hey, whoa, 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 wait." <laughs> Superman isn't gay. And they go, well, that's not what I heard. I heard if you move him in a men's truck stop, you won't need kryptonite to bring him to his knees. 
He's like, hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait, and he goes, wait a minute now. Superman isn't gay. He may have experimented a little back in Smallville, but that doesn't make him gay. <laughs> oh, that was, yeah, that was a hilarious segment. And The Rock did other parts, too, in there. Uh, and some other segments in there that did not involve The Rock was funny. But, yeah, it was it was a good episode of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Another really good one uh, was Peyton Manning. Huh, I've never seen that. Oh, it's good. There's uh, there's one skit where it's like the United Way, and he's, like, working with kids. And, like, he tries to break into somebody's, uh, like, car. Like an oh, yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and, He's like real mean to the kids. It's uh, it's hilarious. I think it's like you somewhere, but yeah. <laughs> he showed me that. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on, on the same episode with The Rock, the first uh, skit they had, I think, instead of Uncle, uh, uh, I said it. Instead of uh, Aunt, Aunt Jemima's syrup, it was Uncle Jemima's pure mash liquor. Yeah, that was and, Morgan, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Tim Meadows and. Uh, not Morgan Freeman, Tra- Tracy Morgan, yeah. Right. Um, and they were all, all on that, like, cartoon butterflies in the background and stuff. Yeah, like swatting at them. And he's swatting, at first he was swatting at nothing in the end. Tim Meadows looks at him and goes, what you swatting at? Oh, no, he, no, he was swatting at the flies, but Tim Meadows, like, I guess he couldn't see it. Like, it was all, like, I don't know, maybe an illusion to the other guy, or I don't know. It's just, <laughs> he was like, man, you can get beeped up with this right here they bleep it out and then uh, they're like and they go they start swatting those butterflies supposedly he can see them but Tim Meadows is looking at him saying what you swatting at and then they quickly switch to the end this is is funny how they did that and yeah that was that was ECW Tim Meadows one thing I thought was stupid though the ladies man segments oh yeah I never liked that you know that Uh, movie out of that yeah, I, I didn't even care to see the movie. Yeah, me too. Yeah, so I didn't care about the ladies' man segments at all. Was, the, the episode, though, The Rock was under as a, it was a cop, undercover cop as a woman. Oh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> and the ladies' man was trying to holler at him and yeah. thought it was a woman. And uh, he told him, like, I, I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, man. Uh so yeah, uh, uh, Mad TV is another uh, oh, yeah. com- comedy skit show. Yeah, I never got, never got into Mad TV. I don't know why. Are they still around? No. no. They're oh. off, but... Hmm. They ran a long like, time, though. Um, yeah. Because they had, like, when I was still watching it, they had, like, Kenny Rogers' Jackass. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. I, love, I love that. Oh, I love that in the John... I can't rob restaurant right here, rob right, right. Yeah, I love those in the John Matt Madden ones. Oh, yeah. Those are funny. <laughs> and uh, uh, Stewart. No. Yeah, Stewart. No. No. Oh, oh uh, Deborah Wilson and Will Sasso made an appearance on WCW before. Oh, okay, yeah, he he got into that stuff a lot. Like there was a Mad TV where some wrestler came on there, and Triple uh, H Potter. I don't, I don't remember. Really. Triple H was acting like Harry Potter. It was well, Triple H Potter. They were, like, doing a skit, and, like, the wrestler just, like, freaked out. And, like, Will tried to stop him, and he, like, slammed him on the ground. And Oh, Bret Hart. They was all like, this isn't a joke, this isn't a joke. But yeah, it, that was Bret Hart. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was, that was all, <laughs> of course, planned, but it was a good storyline mixed with Nitro and Matt TV. And Roddy Piper was involved in that because he was having a feud with Bret Hart. Yeah, and yeah, it was uh, Stone Cold made appearance on there. He was acting like uh, Tony Little. Oh, I remember that guy, the stupid gazelle thing. Yeah, he was acting like Tony Little. <laughs> he was like, hey, Steve Austin's a good actor, by the way. Um, he was like, yeah, I'm here to show you uh, how you get over 16 years of sexual frustration by taking this gazelle or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> it was hilarious. And then uh, Will Sasso was playing the character of Stone Cold. While Stone Cold was playing the character of Tony Little, <laughs> that was funny. What Stone Cold Steve Austin? What? And he sounded just like him, except a fatter version. It he, didn't, he looked like him, except he was you know Will Sasso because he, he was fat. Right. And I mean he lost weight, but then I think he gained it back. And then um, he like 
looked like uh, kind of like a slightly overweight Stone Cold, but he sounded just like him. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin. You don't mess with Stone Cold Steve Austin. What? That's good stuff. Yep. And um, yeah. Oh yeah, Richard. Oh, Norton. Oh, that... oh, sorry. I was gonna say <laughs> Richard, right, you... Richard Norton, uh, who is a martial artist, maybe an actor too, made an appearance in Walker Texas Ranger. Well, you talked about that though. <laughs> Well, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm t- remember, I'm trying to think. I know there's more characters that made an appearance, but I couldn't think of them. But then they come back to me, and that's why I mentioned that. So, I'm okay. Well, actually, I thought of another show that was like you know Saturday Night Live and Matt TV, which is In Living Color. Ah, oh, yes, yes, love and that's a show color. I love. In care. Yes, man, I had season one on, on DVD. The first season just was so popular to where they're like, yeah, we got to keep them around. Jim Carrey, Damon Wayans, I think Sean Wayans. Well, Sean Wayans was a DJ at the time. He didn't really do many skits. He was just a DJ on the show. I think a lot of Wayans. Was Paul Abdul? No, Jennifer Lopez was one of the dancers, I think. Yep. Um, and I, I, I don't know the white woman's name, Colleen something, the white woman on there. She was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and David Allen Greer and, yeah, man. <laughs> Uh, and th- I know there's more on there. I can't think of any. Jim Carrey's character of that bodybuilder woman that would. Oh, Viva De Milo. Yeah. I don't know. She like uh, howl like a horse or <laughs> like <Yeah>. a horse. <laughs> He's talking about. I prefer mine in this concentrated form. He's talking about steroids and like what you know, like eat healthy. Yeah, healthy breakfast. He's like, I prefer mine in concentrated form. And it's bottled like with steroids. Yeah. Huge bottle. And then he's like... <laughs> that was disgusting. Um, and but, then, like, she was playing as a midi- a warrior princess in some sort of movie. And, oh, yeah. Like, yeah, she was... He or, he or she, whatever, was tied up. And, like, the manga guy supposedly stripped her naked so you see drink here's nipples. Like, <gasps> how dare you do this to me? Now you're how dare, dare you? <laughs> Uh, I, lo- I love his characters, and also, uh, yeah, no, I love Bob Jackson. It's raining, man. Yeah. Oh, you uh, like Bob Jackson? <laughs> who? Bob Jackson. He's the karate teacher. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bob Jackson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and the uh, the Homeboy Shopping Network. Yeah. That was hilarious. Okay. Look at this. Check this out right here. A money making machine. You know, just put it in your car. Bam! Somebody else's car. Boom, man! You got some money coming up. That was hilarious. And then uh, they had a uh, they was they were selling this diamond ring on the air. Check it out. Our operation. And this guy goes, "Hey, that's my wife's ring. If I ever find you, I'm gonna kill you. You sorry son of a click. Well, another satisfied customer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, satisfiedly angry. And then the cops, you hear the sirens in the background. Oh, we gotta go. Check it out next week. <laughs> oh, they had a yep. satellite dish. They had the NASA satellite dish. Yo, you want cable? Get all the cable you get right here with the satellite. And it said NASA on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I love that show, man. And there was also another part, like in Save by the Bell, where they messed up on the air and they kept it in. I forgot what it was. I think it has something to do with uh, the homeless guy that Damon Wayans played as, where he eat his own booger all the time. Yes, I know, and I know that part, yeah. And uh, they was doing something, I think him and some of the actors started laughing a little bit, and then they 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 kept the character and moved on, and the audience saw that and laughed. Yeah. That was, that was hilarious. Man, it was an awesome show. And then after that, I think, uh, I don't know when they, I guess it started getting stale because Jim Carrey and other people left, and... Oh yeah, that sucked. And they did. Yeah. Because but I, it was a, was a great show. Well, what would we do without Fire Marshal Bill? Yep. <laughs> oh, of course, hey, yeah. Probably my favorite thing on there was the Dysfunctional Home Show. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, oh I'm dead inside. Hip on Jack McGee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the one the one where... Uh, there's this old... I don't know if, this is a, if it was a recurring skit or just happened one time, but... The episode where uh, Jim Carrey and, the, and the, that white woman, that they were a couple, they went to this old restaurant, and this 
uh, the Wayans sister. Uh, damn, what's the Wayans sister name? It was Damon Wayans, Sean Wayans, and then uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans, and they had a sister too. And I forgot her name. She was on there. Um, uh, Jamika Wayans. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, no, it's Shanna. Domain Williams. Huh? Domain Williams. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I got to look again. But uh, Kim, Kim Wayans, I think. Kim. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, if someone's listening saying, you're way off, idiot. No, but anyway, she uh, played as this uh, this old waitress who walked up to them. Welcome to re- Mama's Restaurant. How can Mama take care of you? And like hair. Or there was like hair in the soup. And- yeah, her hair fell out. Oh, and then like, yeah, and then, oh, man, it was uh, <laughs> it was hilarious. Like, oh, well, we got cornbread right here. Oh, uh, ma'am, this is something my fork. Oh, let me get that off for you. She like licked her finger and started getting it off with her finger. And, uh, oh man, and, like, her hair fall out and it's like, oh, that's it. We're out of here. Oh, you're gonna be rude to mama. Come on now. <laughs> it was that was hilarious. Uh, Tommy Davidson was in there. He was awesome. Who was it that played Rwanda? Uh, Jamie Fox. Oh, yeah, the chick that always chased Tommy Davidson around. Yeah. Oh, Rocket War, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rwanda, yeah, whatever. She had tied to the headboard, and he, like, broke free and ran out with it. She'll tied to the headboard. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome stuff. Oh, that reminds me. That happened in uh, an episode of this show. We can't forget this one. Martin. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Martin. <laughs> Remember that. Mart- Martin was awesome. It came. That was part of the Thursday night lineup. Martin. Well, they was Living Color also the same lineup. I'm not sure. Well, they they had in Living Color on Sunday night. Um, oh okay okay I'm thinking of a Living Color. I mean dang it. Um, Martin I think something else and then Kung Fu Legends continues. Well, it wasn't part of the lineup. Uh, it was part of my lineup. It was a show. Uh, um, well, for a little while they had a show called Rock. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I didn't get and on they they got rid of that, and it was yeah. it was actually something before Martin. Cause I think Martin came on at nine. I don't remember. That's a long ass time ago. <laughs> yeah, I remember the feud. <laughs> the feud between Pam and Martin. Yeah. Was oh, I Pam was hot. <laughs> yeah, Pam was, but Gina was ECW. Um, yeah. Episode <laughs> where uh, her and Martin they were having sex, and then like. Her her head her head got stuck in the headboard between the bars, and so the whole thing came off. And she got stuck walking around with it. And she had to go to a job presentation later on that day. Yeah. And there was no way to get it off. So they saw they saw part of it off. And so to disguise herself, she wore this big veil over it. it. Looked like she had a lot of hair or something, and trying to look flashy, and it failed. But that was awesome. And then Cole, that bum, he was pretty oh, funny. Yeah. I was dating Big Shirley before he finally got rid of her and hooked up with Shin- Sh- Shanice or whatever her name was. That dumb girl. <laughs> and then they had the other neighbor guy. I don't remember yeah. his name. No, it was a neighbor girl, uh, Shanene, who Nene. was also yeah. Yeah, it was Martin. But I mean, no, there was another. Um, there was another guy that came over all the time with that. Oh, Jerome. Oh. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the pimp. That seventies pimp. <laughs> Yeah, that's seven. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he he was awesome. Uh, Tommy, the tall guy, tall ball guy. Yeah, that's that, what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. He was he wanted to hook up with Pam. Uh, and then the 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 he had a radio show at first and he got fired for BS reason, but then he had his own talk show. Yeah. Yeah, that was good stuff. Um. Yeah, so Martin. Yeah, Martin was just awesome. How he would pwn people. He he. It was kind of like I don't know. It's kind of like a black version of the George Carlin TV show. Yeah. Probably. Like Martin would speak his mind, not care. George Carlin would speak his mind, not care. And I, I didn't care for George Carlin really, or as a comedian, I didn't really watch him. But I loved his show, the TV show, the <gasps> George Carlin How show. Dare you? It was awesome. <laughs> That's okay though. I love the it's George okay. Carlin show. Um, yeah, you gotta love George Carlin. If not, then we're not friends anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Right. 
Yeah. So well, I, I love know, George I, Carlin. I, well, I mean, you know, you gotta understand. As a Christian, he was very offensive. So I couldn't. Oh, boo hoo! No, I'm just kidding. Hooked on to him, <laughs> but but I love the show. Um, back in what was it ninety? One early nineties, around the, 94, 93, 94, around the time Martin was on, I think. It was a good show. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, man. But Martin, I never watched it. I hell, I don't even think I knew he had a show. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, it's on YouTube too. I've seen the uh, first episode of it. It was, it was Iraq, <laughs> Iraq, ironic, irate. It was Iranian. It was ironic because the first episode, like you know, George Carlin was a proud atheist. Yet he's praying to God in the episode. I'm like, wait a minute. Was he not always an atheist, or was it just? I know he grew up as, like detecting. Acting. I mean, he was on Shining Time Station, so. <laughs> yeah, but I was thinking. Uh, someone posted a comment saying, "George looked really uncomfortable in this part. Like he didn't really want to pray to God, but he had to because it's his job. I don't know, but maybe not. He was raised, of course, until you know he reached the age of reason. So. And he, be, yeah, then he didn't. wasn't anymore. Wait a minute, the age of reason? What? It's a joke, he says. Oh, yeah. See, I, I don't. I don't yeah, you never seen stand up, so you don't understand the joke. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you don't understand. You have to. <laughs> um, you have to understand the stand up. <laughs> Do you understand the stand-up? I want, I want the sit-down comic. By the way, what's the difference? Sit-down comic and stand-up comic. They're both yeah. comics. Well, a sitcom is something you sit down and watch. A stand-up is, well... No, 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 no. Sit and watch, but they're standing up. They're sit, like, <laughs> I'm talking about comedians. Oh. But not sitcom. I didn't say sitcom, I said sit down. Oh. It's, they're sitting on the stool. And then there's also stand-up comics. But I'm like, wait a minute, they're not standing up. Some are sitting down on a stool. I don't get it. I think it's just... Why do they call it stand-up comics? Can't they just call it com- comedians? Because when you're, they're done, you stand up because you love it. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> There's one stand-up uh, comedy uh, show on YouTube. Uh, uh, I guess one of those underground ones. I don't know if he's famous or not, but um, he was talking about. Well, I remember the first time. Like, I remember the first time I had sex, and then uh, this woman goes, "What? Yesterday?" And everybody goes, "Oh!" <laughs> and start laughing, heckling him, and then he stood there waiting for everybody to die down. And he goes, "Glad you remember." Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still laughing. Like he deep himself when he looked like he lost the crowd, and he just pondered just that quickly and got the crowd back in his favor. Yeah, I've watched a lot I love of those, those videos on YouTube where these hecklers get pwned, which they deserve. They deserve it. Right. It's really stupid because the comedian has a microphone. Exactly. This is not. <laughs> somebody posted a comment yeah. saying, you "Guys are idiots. Don't try to heckle somebody when they have a microphone in a sense yeah. of humor." Someone had said something about, don't mess with me. I have a microphone and a sense of humor. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I love those videos. I love uh, Jimmy Carr. He's one of my favorites who just pones people right back. Yeah, there was somebody poning the whole room. Everybody was heckling him, and he poned all of them. <laughs> he poned the whole room. Yeah, I, I, I love that. Everybody was heckling, but a lot of people were. That's how the video. He, like, poned every heckler, and there's a lot. I think a lot of people heckling him. He was come boom, 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 pone, pone, pone. And uh, there was one though that was serious. It was like someone, I don't know if he was a singing, that was a concert or what? He was a singing comedian or what? It's like, well, it's old 80s something. It's just white guy with the guitar. And this guy uh, says something about, well, all right, come on, you want some of this? Come on up here then. And then the guy was getting on stage. He, the camera didn't move, so he didn't see nothing but the guy on, on stage like the, with the guitar. And with the guitar. He goes, what? Come yeah. on, you want some? Everybody was, everybody was cheering like, yeah. And the guy, like, finally got up to him. He got too close, and he hit the guy with the guitar. And everybody oh, goes, I saw that. And everybody goes, oh. Everybody started hushing all of a sudden. And it's like, you're the same people that were egging him on. And then you get mad when he hits him with the guitar, saying, hey, man, I was going too far. And the guy got on the mic goes, hey, the guy came after me. What do you think, folks? And everybody's like, boo. He goes, whoop, show's over. And he just left. Uh, well, you idiots. Thanks for your money. <laughs> you, yeah, but it was like egg, cheering him on. Yeah, five, five, five. Oh. What do you think he was going to do with the guitar? He was holding the guitar, getting ready to hit him, dare him to come after him. He came after him, he hit him, and the crowd turns on him. What are you cheering for then? You are not an ECW crowd. The crowd would have went, ECW. If that was an ECW crowd, that would, because that really did happen, by the way, guitars <laughs> over the head in ECW. Yeah, I don't know. Someone really didn't like the guy. Stupid southern crowd. 
they want to cheer for you, then boo you when you when you do what they tell you. But anyway, that was off topic. Um, yeah, really. <laughs> Martin is a cool show. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good show. Yeah, it's a good show. Martin. Martin. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um. Shenania was hot. I don't care. I'm just kidding. Oh, um, God. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Asked, they, were, they were playing poker um, in, in, in Martin's apartment, and they are talking about all the fine women on TV, and this one guy goes, that RuPaul? Ooh, man. Yeah. And they was like, what? Goes, I would love to climb, climb that tree. And someone goes, you might run to a branch. <laughs> yeah, so that was, that was hilarious. Um... And, yeah, so Martin, very ECW. There was one show I vaguely remember, but I, I enjoyed. It's called Down the Shore. Not Jersey Shore. Holly Shore? No, no. Down the Shore. <laughs> and I don't know the actors' names, but it didn't stay on very long, but I liked it for the short period it was on. Uh, it, it wasn't that bad. Get a Life with Chris Elliott. Yeah. That, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. The one episode where he eat peanut, peanut butter makes him smart. So he eat peanut butter and go around all these spelling contests all over the country and win money. Yeah. And then one day he ran out of peanut butter and the last word he had to spell to win was pants and he couldn't spell it. Yeah. Oh, man. How do they spell? That was a good show. Yeah. You know, there was another show on Fox. Um, it, I think it was a little bit before um, Get a Life, but it was called Herman's Head. Yes. And Yeah. And that was a really good show, and I hated that they canceled that because it was it was really good. You had okay, you had uh, four characters that was inside this guy's head, and it was pretty much like his um, his brain, you know, like his feelings. And so you had you had like the chauvinistic like party guy kind of, and then you had like uh, the reasoning guy, which was like a business looking guy, and then you had like his feelings, which is the girl. Yeah. Um, and, and then you had this little bitch that was like the, the fear and he was always like a little bitch and like they would, you know, they would solve situations for him, you know, yeah, and just all kinds of crazy stuff happened and yeah, that was a good show. Yeah, it was. I was like, man, whatever happened to that show, man, I used to watch it all the time and the episode where he finally stood up for himself. And this old woman would always rag on him and tell him, be quiet down there. And he would, like, use a broomstick and hit the ceiling. No, you shut up, old woman. And then he went to work, and he said he uh, stood up for himself in the subway when someone tried to take his seat, and he pwned him. And then, like, later on at work, he found out that old woman was dead, that he told her to shut up. I guess because she had a heart attack because they were fighting. And he goes, no, you shut up, you old bag. And yeah, that was an awesome episode. And that one hot chick that he worked with that was a oh, yeah. sassy uh, crybaby. Yeah. And then they end up sleeping with each other. I don't know if they got drunk or what, but... <laughs> yeah, it's real uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, and then their boss, I forgot his boss's name. Um, oh, yeah, he was a dick. Yeah, I... I, I was there... Oh, yeah, there was also the voice, the woman that played as the voice of Lisa Simpson was in that, that show. And they also had the guy that did, like, a bunch of voices. Um, he did, like, a poo, and I don't remember his name, but he was, like, his best friend on the show. But, yeah, he did a bunch of voices for the Simpsons, too. Yeah, they... Uh, Hank, uh, Hank Azaria? Yeah, Maybe? Hank Azaria. And, um, and the, yeah, the Lisa chick... Um, Yeardley Smith. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, they they were uh they were just friends on there, um, but yes, uh, she she was on there, and I can't think of anybody else. Um, that was a good show. Yeah, you talk about very underrated. Oh yeah. I mean, it happy. Had a had time it, spot, really. Should be a happy uh, t- television show nerd do a review of <laughs> Herman's Head. Happy television. Yeah. Is he happy? No, angry angry television show nerd or nostalgia critic, I guess. Uh, he, to do yeah, a review really. of that's. Tattooed teenage alien fighters from Beverly Hills. <laughs> that might be up his alleyway sometime. Oh, man. Anyway. I got to show that, um, like, okay, I liked it when I was younger, but, like, yeah, I watched it again later and was like, what the fuck was I thinking? But, um, Alf. Yes. Yeah. I loved Alf. Uh, the video game sucked. Yeah. But, 
but wow, the cartoon was pretty cool. I had a alpha doll, yeah, doll, um, <laughs> and mm-hmm. I think that I think it was it. There was an episode of Simpsons where Millhouse was showing Bart. Look, I got Alf Pogs. Remember Alf? He's back. <laughs> Yeah, I remember yeah, that, I, that, I, that, that stressed I, out dad, that stressed out father, and yeah. Yeah, I don't think I ever watched the cartoon, but I watched the, uh, you know, the actual show. It was on every Monday night, Monday night at eight. Yep. Man, that the the video game for the Master System sucked. Yeah, I killed me. I don't know if y'all remember my video of it, but I oh, do. Man, she must point now. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, well, I'm ashamed actually, cause that, oh, wow. I'm glad I didn't play that game when I was a kid because I would have went crazy. Oh, Daddy! Look, they got an Alpha Feral game! Dad, get that back! Alpha Feral game! I would have took it home. No, son. And I would, no, son. It sucks. Trust me, you'll thank me one day when you play it on YouTube. What's YouTube? Uh, oh, nothing. Conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, oh, man, I'm glad I didn't play that. I would have been probably disappointed. Uh, oh, it was terrible. I mean... And you, you've seen my video. For those of you who haven't seen this plug, check it out. Let's check out ALF. <laughs> and that, that was a long time ago. That was like 2008, 2009, I think. Yeah, it was like 2009, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but the show, pretty good. There's an episode where he was fighting a giant cockroach, I think. But that was a long time ago. I don't remember. But anyway. Uh, and he always tried to eat the cat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember the show. I mean, the, the, I mean the show. The was what was the music? Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Some jazz music. Wow. Anyway, yeah. Um. Hi. Uh. Let Purple say something. This is the first time I've probably ever had a female on this 2K show podcast. So. Yeah. yeah we've been mostly just chatting away with our all these shows. <laughs> yeah. Us three mostly. Yeah. I'm not gonna stop you guys. Come on now. This is my first one. I'm still nervous. Well, if it's any consolation, you still sell a lot more than Bear ever did in his first S2K <laughs> appearance. <laughs> All of his appearances combined. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> R- remember Metroid? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that was his very first time. And, uh, I mean, yeah, okay, granted, first time being nervous, but and he didn't know us that well yet either, so. Yeah. It's <laughs> Charlie, I think. Yeah, hey, Metroid, you played it? Nope. Sounds cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anything to say? Nope. <laughs> well, uh, so, uh, yeah. So, Bear, uh, what's up? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Metro Park oh, 13, yeah. Shameless Plug again. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the S2K Show, same Shameless Plug Podcast. Right, yeah, this is just the yeah, plug podcast. Anyway, let's plug back <laughs> on topic. Oh, wait, I mean, uh, actually, back. yeah. Actually, someone from Bear actually makes actually will connect me to another show now that I remember him wanting me to watch episodes with is Mystery Science Theater 3000. Anyone uh, watch that? Yeah. I'm really. Oh, oh we, got, <laughs> you got, we got to show you because it's, I love that show. It was a great show. Of course, I never saw it on TV or whatever, but I, you know, started showing YouTube. It was like, oh wow, this is this is awesome. Yeah. It's like Red Supreme of the 90s. Oh yeah, I remember <laughs> watching it on YouTube back in '93. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> now I, mean, I watched it a little bit back then. I, I, it was funny, but I didn't get hooked because I guess it was too long. The commentary of a movie. Well, you gotta do a whole movie. Doing a whole movie that was. I'm not all for sitting. That's why I don't like really watching commentaries of a DVD because I was like, yeah. I, I started getting into the movie again. And I'm like, shut up! I'm trying to watch. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a commentary. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, uh, MST ST2K or uh, whatever the abbreviation is. Yeah, MST3K. I yeah. call them mistake. <laughs> the what? Yeah. I call them mistake. <laughs> Wait, who's a mistake? Speaking oh, you call bear. it since it's abbreviated like that. I get it. Speaking of bear. Oh. Speaking of bear, Winnie the Pooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> oh, that, that reminds me. Well, not Winnie, but Wendy. Um. Remember uh, uh, the Wonder Years? Oh yeah. Yeah. Fred Savage. And Fred Savage and uh, uh, 
the douchebag big brother, and the dad. The father, oh, play, dad. The father the, the his dad on there, played on the episode of Walker Texas Ranger. God, yeah, it <laughs> always comes back to Walker Texas Ranger. Yeah. He did, and I gotta say something real quick on that. That was the episode where he let his son fall off the ladder and didn't catch him, let him hit the floor. Conan O'Brien's Walker Texas Ranger liver. I guess I've never seen that part, but. Yeah. yeah, he goes, I promise I'll no. catch you. Come on, jump. Let's the son jump off the ladder, moves out of the way, lets the son hit the floor. He's like a mob boss and te- trying to teach his son to be tough, never trust anybody in life. Yeah, that's the same actor played in uh, Wonder Years as the dad. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Um, yeah, yeah oh, the, Wonder Years, the Wonder Years was a good show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, it's kind of, um, for me, it was kind of like Saved by the Bell. Like, I didn't really like it at first, but then after, like, a couple seasons, it started getting really good, you know. Yeah. Uh, Paul. No. Paul. On, I think he ended up being the drummer for Marilyn Manson or something. Uh, I heard that's a rumor. I heard that he was Marilyn Manson, but that's not true. That's a rumor. Uh, <laughs> no. No, he was uh, Millhouse. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> if they had a Simpsons... It had a Simpsons motion picture movie, he would be Millhouse. Yeah. Well, they did. Oh, uh, yeah, you're yeah. talking about, like, not cartoon. I got you. you yeah. yeah. Uh, what do you think, Real Train? Life. What's your favorite uh, show, Train? <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, there's a Mega Man cartoon, but I never watched it. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I watched a little bit of it, but I don't know. Um... They this man's ass. We had the yeah <laughs> the characters from the original Mega Man, which kind of didn't make sense. You think that they would have had more from like Mega Man two and three? Um, they just yeah. didn't understand it. Yeah, and I don't know. It was it was all right. It was. Yeah. What about yeah. they didn't show Mega Man X thirteen? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you were gonna say um, the, the examples of that show are much better uh, by people making fun of it, like on YouTube and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, certainly. Good man's butt. It's kind of like Sonic mm-hmm. Hedgehog, you know? Like, that show sucked. The cartoon sucked, but... Well, I, I like one. the cartoon. Not the dark the cartoon. cartoon. Not the dark yeah, version of the cartoon. Old, the old school one. Sonic the Hedgehog? The Adventures yeah. of Sonic. The Adventures of Sonic. Uh, I, I love that one. I love yeah. I love that. I like so, the dark. They had another one. It became, I guess it was the same one, but they changed it. It's like a darker, sinister-looking one. I don't like, like Sonic's... Like what was it? It was just it was the better one babe, for He's everyone else. The fastest thing alive. Sonic CD. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Sonic Sonic TV. Yeah. Mario Brothers. The Ron Super Jeremy. Mario Brothers Super Show. On Jeremy or Kathleen Obama, whoever plays Mario. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. I already thought it was my my boss laughed at me. Hey Luigi, my, my, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! My boss, my boss laughs at me. He goes, "No, it wasn't Ron Jeremy." I go, "No, no, no Kathleen Albano." Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think Ron Jeremy was dressed as Mario, was he? Yeah. He did like a Playboy up. thing or something like that. I don't, I don't remember. Oh, that was, what do you do? Huh, come on, do my plumbing. <laughs> yeah. All right, bear. Um, I'll save you, princess. <laughs> yeah. Show you my mushroom. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, it's super. <laughs> uh, I know this isn't a movie podcast, but the movie was even more horrible than I expected. Oh God! Oh no! Don't no, remember? Yep. I remember when I said I liked it. That was a, <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. You, you yeah, and Jeff do. deserve each other. No, um, <laughs> he doesn't like it. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know, and don't, don't snore. I watched it a few months ago. I'm like, this is worse than I thought. It starts out once upon a time. There's not dinosaurs, really, <laughs> and and it just. Uh, princess. I guess she's supposed to be the princess. Uh, Daisy. Da- oh no, it was Daisy. That's right, Daisy. And her father is like mutating to this giant fungus, and Bowser. Bowser's. It's like that's this is not Mario Brothers. And they weren't like even brothers. It was like one of them was like forty five, and the other guy. Oh, no, they were brothers that just real apart in age. So they're father and son and brothers? <laughs> yeah, they were like father and son, you know. Cause it's, it it, it like, looked like oh. that, but they're actually brothers, yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah, it's just kind of like, well, you know, we got and his sister are far in age, so, I mean. No, like, yeah. Still, that's, that's different, though. 
Yeah, well, I guess not that far in age, but yeah, it's like, yeah, he like forty something. He was like probably twenty. I don't know. Yeah, John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins. Yeah. I like those two though. I like the I like it. It's really cheesy, bad stuff, but you know, it's so I random mean, too. It's like they're all in jail, and all these mutants are in jail with them, or Koopas. It's or, funny though too, just the ridiculousness of the situation. It's like oh, so stupid, but I love it. Yeah. Think of how many kids went to go see that, and you know they're me disappointed. ABGN. Yeah, ABGN got crapped on. Not a nostalgia critic because he reviewed it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. Anyway, the cartoons, though, were pretty good. Mario 3 cartoon was good. Mario World cartoon was good. And that was back then when I didn't have Super Nintendo. And I didn't play Mario World. Oh, man, I want to play Mario World so bad. Oh, but at least I can watch the cartoon. Captain N. I was about to say, Cap- yes, where is Captain N going to come up? Yeah. Mega Man, where they were oh. that's how Mega Man should sound like, not like a bo- sissy boy or girl. I hate uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> rather have him make him sound like this. It was mega annoying. Well, at least it's better than the way he sounds in the, <laughs> the new games today. We gotta fight. We yeah. gotta fight. What are we fighting for? Fighting for a better everyone. voice. I mean, because jeez, that yeah, he's be a mega man, not a mega boy. Yeah, yeah. Someone told me, "Well, he's a boy robot. What do you expect?" I'm like, "I don't. That's no excuse to make him sound like a sissy. He's Mega Man anyway. Mega Man, not Mega Boy." <laughs> yeah, but it was made for Captain. And they made they, they messed up everyone. They messed up Kid Icarus and Simon Belmont. Yeah, they, just, uh, yeah. They gave Doctor Wally, Bel- Wally. I think they did good on Doctor Wally. I think. Yeah, that was about it. Yeah, really. They gave Simon Belmont a bad rap. Um, yeah, Kid Icarus was. Mother Brain was... Oingicus and... Mother... Mother yeah, Brain. Mother Brain was like an old black lady. And, <laughs> but it was the same voice as uh, the, the plant from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah. Oh, man. Seymour! Uh, oh. I, well, they did good with uh, King Hippo and the Eggplant Wizard, though. I, oh, yeah, that's about yeah. the best That's the best they did. Remember uh, Dr. Light's voice in Mega Man 7? No. We always oh, found a way to him. Wait, 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 well, the one where he sounded like Elmer Fudd was Mega Man 8. Elmer oh. <laughs> Fudd. I don't know. i got to do research on that. I thought it was 7. That's the same one where it's like, jump, jump, slide, slide, jump. Yeah, yeah, I know that. I know for sure that's 8, but I'll, i got to do research. I already thought that was on part 7, though. Where We have to watch out for Dr. Wiley. Where Bates turns on him. Yeah. Bass. Yeah. Hey, bass. I already thought it was pronounced that, too. Bass. <laughs> But anyway, yeah. yeah. Any more uh, shows and stuff? Um, yeah, I got one. Um, and actually, I just started watching this. Well, actually, me and Purple. Um, we watch shows all the time. It's like most of what we do. Um, but we wa- we started watching this cartoon called Bob's Burgers. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. It's hilarious. It's funny. They got a little girl on there that always wears rabbit ears, and she's like devious and insane. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a little hellraiser. <laughs> yeah. That's a good. That's a good show. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> we we just started watching that. Um, so I don't even know what station that's on or whatever, but it's on that. Isn't that isn't that Fox? I it's Fox. Fox. Yeah, it's Fox. It's, yeah, yeah, it's Fox. Yeah, it, it seems very Fox. So, yeah. Well, good. Okay. Great Red Fox. Red Great Fox. Great Fox. Theme Mel Gear song. Yeah. Yeah. Red. The Red Fox is Mozilla. Firefox. <laughs> oh, anyway, no, I I have a few more. No, I'm just gonna like name some off and don't have my too much. Don't want to take up too much time naming all these because there's a few more. Like um, you mean, you were mentioning Conan O'Brien. I wanted to mention Late Night with Conan O'Brien because I got into that like when uh when Conan took over for the Tonight Show. Yeah, those are awesome. Yeah. I actually I have all of those on my computer. I have yep. the Late the Tonight Show. Tonight Show. Yep. With Conan. With, yeah, Conan O'Brien. And they're and just yeah. Oh, that's great and funny, and you know his 
previous 13, what, yeah, like 13-year late-night show, which was... 16. Awesome. 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, he was on there for a long while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I believe it. You, wa- you watching your Conan, Ronnie? Oh, yeah, I love Conan O'Brien. Yeah, better than Jay Leno? Better than... Better than... <laughs> yes, better than, yeah. better than Jay Leno. I did yeah. like Jay Leno, too, though. Well, before, probably before, but not now. He's just... No. <laughs> I don't know about now. Talking about 98... Right, I like both of them around that time. Yeah. Like, from when he started The Tonight Show till yeah, for about a good ten years, he was actually kind of funny, but, yeah. I don't know. He gets old, because he explains all his fucking jokes, and it's like, we got it, okay? You don't have to explain it. <laughs> well, sometimes, I think sometimes it would, the audience wouldn't laugh, or whatever, and it's like they didn't get it, so they go, well, you know, and... Uh, well, there's a lot of old people watching, so he has to explain it for them. You couldn't hear him laugh because they play music after every joke. Yeah, Kevin Eubanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jay. Yeah, that's funny. Man. Yeah, Jay. <laughs> and that's funny. Jay. <laughs> I remember Jay Leno wrestled wrestled against... He teamed up with Dom Dice Page and wrestled against Hulk Hogan and Eric Bischoff. And he actually did a, I think he showed me a training video. He, I think he did a shooting star press. I'm like, are you kidding me? Was that a stunt double? Or was that Jay Leno? Anyway, yeah. Conan O'Brien was awesome. He had Stone Cold Steve Austin on there, and they drank beer, and he was Conan got drenched in beer. <laughs> yeah, they did a lot of good stuff, a lot of funny stuff. And Andy Richter, love love his sidekick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Andy Richter was hilarious. The, the staring contest they would have, sometimes it was stupid. Other times it were funny. The episode yeah, with Max Andy Weinberg. Richter's, it was Andy Richter's last appearance before he left to do movies. Yeah, in 2000, and did all yeah, he did a spin-off career and all that. Yeah, and then like he came back as a special guest. He came back looking homeless. <laughs> like, yeah. like made a bad decision to leave the show. <laughs> he came back looking homeless. No, yeah, he actually came back like for real um, when they started the Tonight Show. He was like, the, he started out as like an announcer, and then. He became, you know, like the sidekick again. Yeah. A couple more times. This is where he fits. It's, he does a good job. Yeah. Yeah, and his uh, side career, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, he just didn't quite make it into movies. Yeah. Yeah, just he didn't fit on his own. It's okay, though. Still love him. Yeah, like, well, I mean, you can't, can't blame him for trying. I mean, if he had the opportunity and chance to make more money and... I'm, I'm sure it was a tough decision for him because I know he loved being on Conan O'Brien. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, but at least he went out there and tried it. But, just, yeah, you know, it didn't work. Probably probably made some good money doing it, but just wasn't successful. I was like, yeah. Conan's like, dude, come back. He's like, all right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I ain't got nothing else going on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and he, uh, yeah, that, remember that time when the whole thing with Conan O'Brien got fired or let go by M- NBC and... Right. Oh, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. And Jay Leno and Oprah interviewing Jay Leno. And yeah. At least Jay Leno didn't duck questions. He just took it like a, you know, like a man. and you Took know. it with his big chin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least Jay Leno's a good sport. I mean, you got to give him that. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was part of it, though. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if, if okay, they told him that, that, you know, they was giving the show to Conan. They gave him five years, okay? Um, and then, you know, when all that happened, Jay should have been like, well, you know what, um, you know, you said you've given the show to Conan, so, I mean, you know, don't, don't sit here and ask me back, because I'm not going to do that to somebody, you know, I got to do this show for so many years, um, so, you know, he should have just, like, bowed out, instead of being like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll come right back on there, you know, that's kind of messed up. Yeah. So. Oh, no, do you really think he deliberately screwed over Conan O'Brien? Oh, or? Not at all. He was just like, NBC was like, well, you know, we want to we want to kind of have both of you on there. And so he was like all for it, which he shouldn't have been. He should have been like, no, I mean, if you're, you know, if, if the affiliates aren't happy with Conan, then do what you got to do, but don't involve me in it because, you know. Yeah. But instead he was like, oh, yeah, yeah I'm down. Is that Jeff or Jay Leno? No. Um, All right. <laughs> Jeff Leno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Tonight Show with Jeffrey Jackson Cash and his sidekick Charlie. And he falls asleep during his monologue. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Charlie be the host. Charlie's got to play kick to wake him up. No, Charlie, <laughs> Charlie's the host, and Jeff will be the sidekick. The false yeah, yeah, no, yeah, that would fit. That would. Fit. Man, <laughs> he'd grub be on there. Back in the arcade times, the streets of Foy of this piracy. Yeah, he'd be the announcer. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then Ken would be the music guy, Max Weinberg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. And I think I'm all. Let's but, see. Uh, well, then well, I gotta, if the podcast I gotta, is over, then we'll be like, ah, oh, dang, we forgot to talk about yeah. that one. Well, you know, oh, we I always see. have a part two. We've done that before. Yeah. You think? <laughs> Same. <laughs> well, anyway. Well, someone's fan is on. <laughs> Yeah, I, Might be purples. <laughs> I think that's. I think we're good. What do you guys think. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got a favorite show. Um, Maya the Bee. No. <laughs> yeah, no. No, I guess I'll just hit off some of the ones I just still have, like a uh, Jackass. I love Jackass. It's, it's just. Stupid comedy, which I love, and also the spinoffs that came up with that, like Viva La Bam and Wild Boys. Love those. Just it's the same spirit of Jackass, just, just, every, just all the different cast members doing their own thing, and it's hilarious. Uh, what else? What else is there? Uh, I, uh, let's see. I think, I think there's a few more. Um, oh yeah, the Tim and Eric Awesome Show. That whew, some messed up stuff, but it's so funny. God. Uh, Anyone watch that? Anyone even know who that is? Tim and Eric? No. Nope. Nope. Tim and Eric right, Bischoff? Eric Bischoff? No, it's Tim Follin and... Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and Geoff Follin show? Yeah, that's a good show. So you have to play NES music all the time? I love it. Yeah. yeah. And, um... And, yeah, I think... I think, actually, I think I got most of my, uh... Shows out. I think I'm pretty good. Well, won't you be my neighbor? Good. <laughs> Um, what? Mr. Skip Rogers. I mean, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Skip Rogers meant you to make a map. Yeah, won't you be my second player? Oh, I fail. Won't um, you I'm be sorry. my second player? <laughs> be sure to make a map. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm done. <laughs> Here's the map as we go across the street to see the milkman today, kids. <laughs> Why did um, you go across the street to see the milkman? Oh, man. Let the milkman come to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, of course, J-Man's favorite show. I mean, come on. Barney and Friends. Um, <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> what? You weren't supposed to tell anybody. Unless it's Barney from How, I, Barney from how I Met Your Mother, then, right. yeah. I'm going <laughs> to yeah, get a lot of flack for this, but I think back when I was 11 or 12, I, out of curiosity, I did watch the show. And, yeah, um, okay, for a children's show, okay, I can see why it was so popular. But there was one kid on there that looked too old to be on there. I don't know what the deal was. It seemed like he was maybe about five-year-olds or something. He had this kid on there look like he was freaking 12. And he had, like, oh. goatee. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, had, he had blonde hair, and I, I, I'm just sitting there thinking, man, God, I hope you don't get beat up in school every day. That's like, it looks a little too old. And there's a, oh, here's another one we're gonna talk about in a minute. Beavis and Butthead. Um, oh that, yeah. That, that, yeah, let's go ahead and talk about that show. Beavis and Butthead. But they did show a, a little. There was a little skit, or there was you know how they sit around watching TV all the time. And they're flipping through channels, and they f- happen to stumble on Barney, and they showed a clip, uh, a quick clip of it, on there, and they sh- still show that little that kid, that big kid with blonde hair on there too. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Barney get shot or something? <clears throat> yeah. I heard, I don't know, I heard of a rumor a long time ago, he got jumped at a McDonald's parking lot in Dallas. Yes. I don't know. Well, yeah, you get on Ronald's turf. I mean, you don't get on Ronald's turf. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <I'm gonna be laughs> <shot. laughs> uh, there was, uh, was there one Conan O'Brien skit where Ron McDonald would go around just slapping people and knocking stuff out of their hand? Uh... <laughs> I don't think so, but if there is, I want to watch it. <laughs> I think it's yeah, that pretty sounds, funny. That sounds hilarious. Like the evil Ron McDonald, I think it was. Evil Ronald. Like he he, joined, he went to ECW and turned heel. What happened? No. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, Beavis and Butthead. I just like Ninja Turtles. I liked it too much to where it was unhealthy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. I would go to school every day. I was in sixth grade. That's where I stumbled upon it. I, now, someone told me about it. I'm like, what the heck is Beavis and Butthead? Flipping through channels, just like they do, and stumbled upon their show. And I, there's a music video with people talking through it going, Ugh. I'm like, what is this? And on the bottom, it said Beavis and Butthead, at the, t- the name of the show. And I'm thinking, oh, okay, this is the Beavis and Butthead I've been hearing a lot about. Well, let's see what this is about. I watched it, and it was hilarious. I got hooked instantly. And what hooked, what one of the things that hooked me onto it was, this, they're laughing like, that guy's, <laughs> that guy's got a boner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I started laughing like, that's hilarious. Why do they laugh like that? It's funny. The first episode I saw was where they're working at Burger World, and B was just dreaming of being a rock star. And while they were grilling on the uh, grilling hamburgers, and Butthead woke him up, I think, by slapping him in the back of the head with the spatula, and Beavis's face got on the grill, and he burned his face. Ah! <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> <ask. Butt-wipe. laughs> yeah, that. Oh man, that that was. And I would go to school every day, laughing like Butthead. What's up, David? <laughs> uh, and people were getting sick and tired of it. Kids would be like, "Dude, shut up! <laughs> you constantly talk like Butthead all the time. You Beavis and Butthead worshiper." I was like, no, uh, shut up. I don't worship your butthead. And, uh, 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 shut up. Uh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I was, yeah, I loved it so much. And, yeah, the video game sucked, but the yeah. cartoon was awesome. Now, super, now, I remember the new, the new cartoon that came came on recently. I heard it sucked. Just the, revi- just the revival? No, the rap was good, man. Yeah, I thought I could. How come it last long? The older ones. Oh. It didn't last long. Oh, the, the remake, the the new ones that came out year, two years ago, whenever it came out. It was last year. Um, they just they're done with the season, so they're gonna come out with another season. Yeah, man. Someone told me I canceled because no one cared to watch no more. Kidding me? That's what someone told me at work. They go, yeah, dude, they canceled because no one wanted to watch it. I go, really? Maybe they just thought it was canceled because they're not showing it anymore. <laughs> it's because the end of the season. I don't know. That, that's what I told. So maybe he, exactly. so we're talking yeah. about, but but the oh, I don't, so I don't know about the ones I don't know about the one that came on last year, but the ones back then, oh man, Mr. Anderson, are you the guy hey, to spray painting my cat's butt? Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, and then Todd, that gangster Todd, would beat the crap yeah. out. Todd, cool. <laughs> yeah, they want to be a part of his gang, and oh man, yeah, you kind of felt sorry for it, but sometimes, but. They were they were fun. And Dora, that diarrhea. Yeah. Whatever her name was, Dora, Daria. Yeah, yeah they had, Daria. Yeah, I had a spinoff series of her, but I didn't care to watch that. Um, Daria was pretty good. Yeah, diarrhea. That was funny. Uh, oh, that, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Buzzcut, the teacher, that oh. army teacher. All right, listen up, maggots. And he went like this: the episode where they, every every class they go to, they would keep freaking. Uh, laughing at everybody's name because their last name sounded funny. Gaylord! Oh, yeah. Here. <laughs> and then finally, uh, Principal McVicker had drunk. Uh, Mr. Leahy, the Principal Leahy, um, he, he, uh, he told, all right, I want to get you guys good. <laughs> he started drinking, laughing like bear, started drinking, and then uh, got himself drunk to where he came up with an idea saying if they laugh anymore in class, they'll be expelled. And so, uh, Mr. Buzzcut's like, Everybody, may I have your attention. I've been informed here. If there was a butthead laugh at any more names, they'll be expelled. And they'll have to repeat the whatever grade they're in. And, and so they would call roll. All right. Gaylord. That's the only name I can think of. There were other names, too. A Buckus. Ivan. Buckus. Here. And they, they, would, they would go. <laughs> or, also, they were in sex education class. And uh, Mr. Buzzcut goes, that's right. We are in sex education class. Well, we'll be talking. He got right in their face, trying to make them laugh. They're all like going, <laughs> and he goes, "We'll be talking about the penis, <laughs> talking about the vagina. <laughs> we'll be talking about sperm <laughs> or whatever." <laughs> it was hilarious. So they were trying their best not to laugh. Yeah, that that was that was awesome. Um, and there's the episode where they got 
They kept on getting demoted all the way down to kindergarten. <laughs> and they couldn't do it. Yeah, that was funny. They, I think made them go back to high school. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we got on beer. I mean, beers and butthead were awesome. Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, awesome. And uh, the movie, Me too. The movie was hilarious. Um, and there's other cartoons I really liked. The beers, but oh yeah, the one where Bill Clinton visited. <laughs> yeah, no That was awesome. Yeah, and they, uh, the prince, prince tried to keep away from school. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they got the mic. They have to go to school today, and then they they walk outside, and they're like, what do you want to do? Let's go to school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then they end up meeting Bill Clinton, and yeah. uh, first they got the microphone, um, testes, one, two, three, meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> And then the Secret Service men were getting ticked off. Like, who's yeah, that? Yeah, the, the principal uh, gets tackled. Yeah. <laughs> and then they, I think, uh, the, uh, they probably thought the principal was going to, I don't know, they gave an award yeah. to Beavis and Butthead, and they spelled his name wrong, Beavis and Bumhead. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name was, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're too bad they got your name wrong, Bumhead. Shut up, be, be dumb, dumb Beavis. <laughs> <laughs> now, now everybody make fun of your name. Like they already didn't make fun of his name. But anyway, yeah. Uh, oh man, hilarious show. But there's a true story though. Around that time, the reason why I got moved to like 10 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. is because some kid that watched Beers and Butthead decided to imitate them and light a fire and he like decided to burn the house down. Oh yeah, and he then he kill himself. Kill himself, and I think I don't know the whole family or. What, or lit the stove and blew up the house? Or, I don't know, something like that. And uh, I think it's, uh, they somehow linked to the beers, but I don't know how they're going to know if they were all dead. Who can describe how where it came from? I don't know. But maybe I think the family survived or the boy died. I don't know. They probably knew his obsession with beers and butthead, and they found the cause of the fire and probably thought, you know, well, he got, he got the lighter idea from beers and butthead. And, I don't know. I think it's one of the reasons why they... They moved it to 10 p.m. and then they had that corny, uh, what is a like a, a disclaimer at the yeah. beginning of every episode. Yep. Playing this banjo music. I mean, beers, but do not imitate or be deported. Please don't try us at home. And yeah, classic show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's another MTV show called The Head. Crickets. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, the head. Nothing dirty, but it was a good show. I think another season might not care to watch it, but the first one was pretty good. Just normal guy and this alien named Roy <laughs> lands out of nowhere and thinks so. I don't know. So I don't know how it got in his head, but he ended up having a big head like like the cone heads in the movie. And it was it wasn't bad. It was a pretty good uh, episode of season one, but. It, it was like these guys were messing with him in the, in, in the, in the alley because he had a big head. And he was like, leave me alone. And the kid are messing with him. He goes, leave me. Ah! And he snaps like Rambo and his head bubbles and like the alien comes out of his head. And then I guess fights for him and then they end up becoming friends. And um, It sounds weird, but it was I actually enjoyed it. Uh, it's part of the MTV's Oddities series or whatever they had at the time. It was pretty good, the head. Not Herman's head. But, uh, the head. yeah, the head. It was it was pretty good. Other than that, the only MTV sh- cartoon I would care to watch was Beast and Butthead. I don't care about Diarrhea, the Door of the Explorer, or Di- The Adventures of Diarrhea, whatever it's called. But anyway. <laughs> diarrhea everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, Thank um, we've anyway um, spat a lot of television talk. Yeah, really. It's part of the longest podcast besides the year anniversary. And actually, I think this is longer already than that. I think. I, I think, think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> we broke the record. Um, one day we're gonna go for a twenty-four hour podcast. Uh, the stream. Uh, Our soldier will listen to every word. Or he'll be a part of it. <laughs> and then he'll like, listen to it again. It's the twenty third hour. We're all tired. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's also talk about uh, still going. You, we guy in Star Soldier will be going with all of us. Is like, <sighs> yeah, probably because Jeff will fall asleep the first hour. 
Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, I think that's all the shows I can think of. Yep. There's a lot of more I, I can, but, you know, maybe maybe for another possible part, too. Just oh. me. I just, I just, oh, I just I upload a video another, thing. Yeah. I thought of another actor that played a walk Station Ranger. Wow, I forgot his name. Dang, he's of like... Of course he did. He's like a real <laughs> old guy. He was like a real old guy that died recently. He, he looked like the captain on... Uh, oh, yeah, Gilligan's Island. We need to talk about that. He looked like the captain on Gilligan's Island, but he wasn't. He's an old guy. He died recently. He was part of a cartoon... Uh, also, voice of a cartoon. The real old guy died at eighty something years old. I don't know if his name is Abe or Abe something. And Abe Lincoln? No. <laughs> Heck, I don't know. Anyway, he was on episode of Walker Texas Ranger. Um, Heck, and that's probably it. <laughs> but Gilligan's that is, Island. That's it. Gilligan's Island. The Andy Griffith Show. Come on. Here we go. Eh, too old to show. Let's end. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. no. <laughs> That's pretty good shows. Matlock. I loved Matlock. By the way, God, God, uh, bless his soul, Andy, Andy Rector. Andy Griffith? <laughs> well, we talked about Andy Rector. Yeah, I know. Andy I know. Andy Griffith died recently. That sucks. Sherman Hemsley. Dang, I hope there's not going to be another 2009 celebrity death. Uh, no way. Except, but those people, I mean, you know, those people are old, though, so, I mean... They died of, like, you know, probably natural causes or old age. It's okay. They were old. No, I'm just saying, like, in 2009, it was, like, a tragedy. These people, I mean, David Carradine was old, but he killed himself by accident. And no one explained Michael Jackson again. was, you know, too young to die. And Farrah Fawcett was 62, but she had cancer, I think. And yeah, he certainly didn't. Yeah. Oh, I just thought of a joke from Michael Jackson. I was saying he certainly didn't stop because he couldn't get enough. Is that song? Don't stop taking it. Oh, God. I'm going to hell. Oh, you said you anyway. have to go. Uh, is that what, who's going to go? No one's got to go. I'm just saying. I think this is done. Been, this is like two and a half hours. Yeah, no one else is listening by now. Thumbs down for being too long. Um, yeah. Too bad Gen 2 and Star Wars weren't in it or would be even longer. Um, <laughs> is it too bad? I'd be like, good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so, yeah, that is it for the uh, S2K show, our favorite television show podcast. Um, yeah, so I hope we can do more podcasts more often like used to, but it's kind of hard to think of topics. So probably the next podcast we'll do might be the 2012 year review. No, 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 I remember remembering the, I, there was a few, there's some, well, not like, there's anniversaries for the some consoles that we could do because they're all coming up our alley. Yeah, but that's like the 21st. Anniversary of the SNES something. Nah. Twenty six, huh? Twenty six, I think. Or no, uh, NES, SNES came out ninety two, did it? Or ninety one? Ninety one. Yeah, how, how gonna be twenty six anniversary? Oh yeah, twenty first. I'm thinking. I'm thinking NES. <laughs> uh, Either way, oh come on. Now. Actually, be twenty seventh NES anniversary. I think this year. But I mean, I don't know. Twenty first anniversary. It should be more of an even more of a. Number like twentieth anniversary or? Well, I'm not waiting four more years. <laughs> well, why not? Uh, well, let's get something to talk about. Four more years, um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, let's just think of something else like our favorite foods. <laughs> um, actually, actually, Nintendo sixty four is going to come up on twenty five. So there you go. Are you serious? There we go. We got we have one planned. Yes, because it's ninety six. No, that was last right? year though. Right, ninety six. Oh wait, no, it's twenty six. God damn it! <laughs> Shit. Dang. Fudge! I can't Fuck. believe we missed that. We missed that last time. How could we miss that? It's all your fault. <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's 16, we guy, not 26. I mean, yeah. My sweet 16. That's right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sweet 16. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wait a minute. NES is 25th. How can it 64 be? Wait a minute. I, I don't know math. Let's just end. <laughs> Either. Yeah, let's end now. Um, yeah. So, that's it. We're out of here. Thank you, Purple, for being the first female to join the S2K podcast. Uh, no problem. Woo. All right, so we out here. I'm Ron Moore. This is the J Man. The Wee Guy. And Purple. All right, guys. Yeah. God bless. Take care. Peace. Later. <clears throat> fire, fire.